Hello and good evening. Welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle LA by Night. Chapter 2, Instruments of Darkness. Let's meet our vampires. My name is Alexander Ward. I am playing Jasper the Nosferatu. My name is Erica Ishii, and I'm playing Annabelle. I'm real new to this. Hi, my name is Cynthia Marie, and I am playing Nellie G, the toyter that is completely fabulous. B. Dave Walters playing Victor Temple. It is my job to clean up all of their messes. Mm. Well, we'll see about that. Yeah. Really quickly. Uh, and I'm Jason Carl from White Wolf, and I'll be your storyteller tonight. Uh, we'd like to thank a few people who have been very generous to us. We'd like to thank the Master Crafts people at Dogmite for this beautiful storyteller's screen and these amazingly beautiful clan dice boxes uh, with the uh, clan symbols emblazoned on top. Uh, we'd also like to thank um, Elderwood Academy uh, for the beautiful dice tomes that hold your hunger dice very safely, just in case the beast gets out. Let's recap where we were last week with episode one. The Vampire Coterie controls the domain of Griffith College in East Hollywood, Los Angeles. The Coterie discovered that somebody <clears throat> was poaching on their territory, stealing blood that didn't belong to them. Investigation led to Annabelle, a fledgling vampire new to the night, who knew almost nothing of her condition. After some discussion, the Coterie brought Annabelle to Baron Isaac Abrams, who controls Hollywood and a few other territories he's not terribly happy about. Their vampire patron. With the help of a Tremere witch, they determined that Annabelle's clan was Bruja and that she is of the 13th generation. Almost the weakest vampires. The Coterie fended off a sudden attack by unknown assailants. Victor lost an SUV but gained an SUV, so it seems like a fair trade. Mm, mine was right? much nicer. Mm. Pity it's gone. And that's where we left off. And now, let's tell a vampire story. This morning when the sun rose over the city of Los Angeles, the human residents of the city woke up, brushed their teeth, had breakfast, packed their kids off to school, went to work, had lunch, got haircuts, pedicures, shopped for clothes, had a drink at happy hour, went home to their families. While this was happening, you did none of these things because you were asleep, you were dead. Your lungs didn't breathe, your eyes didn't blink, and your hearts did not beat because you were dead. And it wasn't until the sun sank below the horizon into the Pacific Ocean 
that you could open your eyes and move and think and feel because night has come again. Now, let's rouse check for hunger. Roll one hunger die and a failure means your hunger grows. If it's a success, you're safe and your hunger does not increase. If you fail, Nelly, please add a hunger die. What are you at now? Two. Two. Okay. You're fast. feeling you're feeling the the bite of the beast. And you know that soon it will be three and then maybe four, mm -hmm. but eventually you will have to deal with that hunger. Because as Victor reminded us last episode, vampires are hunger. You had some things to do, some things to take care of. A few loose ends to tie up because of the masquerade. So, new kid, hopefully you were paying attention yesterday when we said the only thing that matters is the masquerade. Making sure no one knows about any of this. Okay, uh, well, I have a lot of ground to cover uh, in terms of things that I real, really don't understand. But uh, as far as I can tell, yeah. Um, not no, nobody knowing things. Cool. So we kind of left a mess uh, at the observatory. The observatory, I'll take care of. Uh, in fact, E, did you put in the call to the police that I requested reporting the SUV stolen? So you're going to consult your uh, your mortal driver, E? Yes. Uh, she responds uh, in the affirmative. She absolutely did as she was asked. The police took the report. Uh, she presumes that the vehicle is now listed among the, uh, the many stolen vehicles of Los Angeles, maybe lost in the, uh, <clears throat> in the uh, police reports. So I'll deal with all of that. Here are the things that I think we need to take care of, and you all let me know if I've forgotten anything. Oh, I will. Uh, the car we took, we need to dispose of, but I would like to inspect it first, check its GPS, see yes. where it's been, you know, and then get rid of. Mm -hmm. I've taken care of my vehicle, but I'm going to make sure that no one does any further checking on that here momentarily. Uh, there is a not insignificant number of teenage fanboys and fangirls. Of you. Yeah, I know. Just wanted to make sure you knew. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. How do you plan to take care of that? Uh, I mean, I didn't say vampire, uh, or kindred, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, because that, that just seemed silly and I didn't know they don't really know know anything as far as I know like maybe I'm a little kinky or uh I have a condition or it just you know you say what you gotta the, the illnesses I think the illnesses nobody's gonna look too carefully as long as they stop now there can be no more strange cases of anemia striking the students of Griffith College but what was lacrosse kid's name? Chris. Chris. I thought it was Josh. I, I lose track. Josh I, sounds like a lacrosse it name. It does sound like a lacrosse name. Maybe it's, yeah, right. Uh, he does have oh, a best friend named Josh. Focus. I, I could make him think his Focus. name is Josh. Oh, sorry. Focus. I think as long, go to Chris. As long as Chris seems like he doesn't know anything, you're probably fine. But I need to impress upon you again. Do you even know where he's at? What's that? Do you even know where he's at? Just out of his apartment. Are you sure? I, or class? I don't know. Okay. So, again, just to make sure you understand the severity, because I know yesterday was I a mean, day. You, you mind wiped him. You that might be thinged. Maybe. Him. But understand, if there's a doubt, if there's any doubt, he's dead. But there is none. You just... You mind wiped him. It's up to you to verify. Go. Make sure. Mm hmm Okay, I'll take I care mean, of it. Yeah, we can do these things. These powers. Doesn't mean they always work. 
Okay, yeah. So, because he still knows your name. He still knows he came to his house to give you blood. And he still saw all of our faces. Okay, I'll he's just... He's in mine. Chris is cool. He's a bit of a meathead. Okay, not cool, like, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. He's, but, you know, he's a good kid. I'll just talk to him and mm -hmm. it'll be fine. Uh... One other thing, mm -hmm. since I was young once, I'm certain the moment that you're out of our supervision, you're gonna run home to your girl, which is beautiful, wonderful. Remember, if she knows anything, dead. Everyone she knows, everyone she talked to, everyone she texted, dead. Then we'll find out. Promptly. You gotta clean that up. Come here, come here. It's it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, come here. I'm gonna give her a hug, and I'm roll four dice, Nelly. Nelly. With or without hunger? Without hunger. <laughs> Annabelle, roll five oh! dice without hunger. Any success? Without hunger. Can I spend willpower on that one? Not for this roll. No. Without hunger. Without hunger. <laughs> Three successes. Three successes. Zero. Zero successes. Let's see. Let me make a note. Oh. Okay. There's also the matter of the unidentified enemy attackers who were left behind in Griffith Park. Yes. Now, I know you guys didn't see this, but um, I did get a look at one of the people in the car that chased you down the hill. Doesn't matter how. But. How? Doesn't matter how. I do think sometimes, okay? That sounds really cool. All right, look, I jumped onto the back of the car and I held on and I looked through the back window. It wasn't particularly graceful and then I fell off and I fucked up my face. It's fine. But. Jasper. Focus, focus. If I saw her again, I'd recognize her. I don't know who she is, but if I saw her again, I'd know. Any sp yeah. specifics? In distinguishing long characteristics. Long fangs. Very long. Very long fangs. Does very long fangs mean anything to me? Victor, make a... Um, let's go for intelligence plus a cult. Add your hunger. Or rather, substitute your hunger for regular dice. As normal. Yes, sir. One success. One success. Mm, there is something in the back of your mind, something you were told once when you were younger. Mm. It's not sticking, it's not registering, but mm. there is something there. Maybe if you were to um, take some time to recollect your memories or um, contemplate, you might um, figure out exactly what you heard and who told you, but it's not coming to you at the moment. It is significant, but you cannot quite pinpoint it. I do recount the fact that I've heard such a thing, but i got to yeah. tumble it around. Do you yeah. have any other clue on who these people were, who sent them? Yes. When I had my knife to the young gentleman's throat, he told me who sent them. Hmm. Who? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's lying, because it would be ridiculous. McNeil. Yeah. The, no. Hmm. Also, uh, you might want this back. Thank you. Uh, I forgot, I'm sorry. We need to get that checked out. You need to get some security added. And by security, I mean you kind of need to dump it and get a new one, but... Mm -hmm. You can. Can I get a new iPhone? You know what? Yeah, can you pay I'll buy for a new yeah, iPhone. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, the, the phone's on me as long as you don't call my son with it ever. You didn't buy me a phone. How about that? Yeah, Jasper, cool. she's got a lot of music on that thing. We, I know. You didn't buy us any phones. I, Look, <laughs> there's other types of music in the world. Just saying. How'd you get into my phone? There's ways of getting into phones. That's why you need a new one. 
and then... Uh, excuse and me. Sorry. We might have an immortal Highland killer that is on our tail. McNeil. The McNeil? The McNeil. Mm. Now, this leads me to believe it's not true, or whoever sent him told him he was McNeil, because McNeil's not around, as far as I know. But then again, I'm just a young man, so... Uh, McNeil is one of the founders of the Anarch Free States of California. He's a legend and incredibly powerful, and sending random shitty ghouls after us doesn't really fit his MO. But yeah. what if it does? You guys know something us. he wants? <sighs> what all of us want, power. I, mean, he's, I never knew him, met him. He wasn't even in the city when I was turned. I'll make some calls. I'll make some calls. Uh, you need to get after Josh. Figure uh, Chris. Out. Chris. Chris. It, yeah, Chris. What? No, you were. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I was just saying Chris. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. I could make him forget his own name. That's not important. <laughs> make sure none of them. It's so rude. Take no. time. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Mm-hmm. It's it's cool. Like I'll I'll talk with him. He'll be fine. Hang on. Uh. Since we're teaching about the masquerade, it can be maintained in a number of ways. So hang on, let me show you something. Watch, watch this. Ready? Okay. Watch. Okay, I would like to take out my phone and turn on like my official account live stream. I have several hundred thousand followers. Well, the, the Temple of Boom is still a popular music concern, so that fame is coming in handy right now. It is, it is. So I'd like to live stream momentarily. Mm-hmm. And as soon as this, without any of them in the yeah, exit, so do you want to be on I was way? about yeah, sure. to ask yeah. Yeah. who's no, in she, the stream. Actually, I'm going to activate the blush of life first, though. Okay. Make a rouse yeah. check. Yeah. Yeah. It does go up. Add a hunger die. Yes. I'm that so puts you at two. Do um, does the hunger die affect uh, the, the roll in question or the next roll? No, though. Go ahead and make the roll. Got it. Well, well, let me tell you what I'm trying to do, and you tell me what I need to roll. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just basically stream a, a message. So I guess it's a persuasion, but it's a persuasion to the world. What's the gist of the message? What's the intent? This is what I'm going to say as soon as we get on. We'll start together, and I'll say, you know, it's come to my attention that sometime yesterday, one of my cars got stolen, mm-hmm. which I didn't even notice because I got so many of them, but I was just told that somebody jacked one of my rides. And let me know, that, here's what you got to understand. I'm trying to be better. Mm. I'm trying to be the new me, oh. right? But I feel like they lose track and they see the suit and the tie and they think the old me is gone, but he's not. So whoever did this, I'm coming for you. I might already know who you are. I might have already sent somebody to talk to you. If you disrespect a man's right, you disrespect a man. Damn straight. And then I turn off the live stream. End of stream? Yeah. Okay. Victor from the block is back. <laughs> Charisma and persuasion. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're just jealous because you can't do that. <laughs> I could. Yeah. True. True. Might. And then we all die. <laughs> Uh, might be really interesting. So just remember I can do that. This box is cursed. This is a cursed box, but two successes. Two successes total? Yes. Okay. I'm going to make a note of that. Um, it's not going to be possible for you to gauge the effect sure. uh, long term yet. Initial responses are very favorable. The first response is, of course, reacting just to your fame uh, and to your visibility. Um, hopefully no one who means you harm was watching that. I'm easy to locate. The reason why I did that, now we have plausible deniability. Anybody that thinks I drove my car up to Griffith Park, like, why would I do that? Why would I have reported it to the police? Why would I go on saying I'm so angry about it being stolen? Misdirection. The other way is to just not exist. I don't exist. The person I was, he's dead. Do you miss him? I miss when I didn't look like a ghoul, a gross thing. Yeah, wouldn't you? Really, you don't like that all the time? Just asking, Beautiful, Jeez. beautiful, you don't listen to her. I it's another was... way, so, now listen, I love uh, that you're keeping in contact with your girlfriend, but know that things are gonna happen to her whether you like it or not, and whether you take all the precautions in the world to keep her safe, 
all those bad things that are in your head about what happens if she doesn't come home, what happens if she's on dead on the side of the road, what happens if another one of us comes over and drains the life out of her. One of those things is going to happen. Just know that. Hey, I... I'm sorry you lost someone. Annabelle, your phone buzzes. It's a text message. It's from Mark Temple. See you tonight, question mark. What's your response? Uh, uh, yeah, if I can. Okay. Smiley face. Smiley face. A little heart emoji. Uh, when I see her typing, I'm like, Abe, get her a new clean phone. <laughs> Android, you're an adult now. Can I yes, see your phone? Uh, mm. No. Let me try that again. Can I see your phone? What do you want to... I don't really... I don't really... Trust you. I'm really, sorry. out of all of us, I... What's that supposed to mean? Wow. You're kind of. I mean, phone. She's so judgy. Okay. She, she's very insistent. All right. I grab and smash it on the floor. You destroy the phone. Yes. Absolutely. Do you? Uh, That's a way to do that. That is a way. Make to sure do that. that it's inoperable. Hmm? Okay, yes. so the phone is destroyed. Please it's in stop. pieces in just moments. Stop. We're getting you a new phone. You can contact the one people or a few people that you need, but that's it. Wow. I don't know what it's like for you and death, but in life, that is life. Like, my phone is my life. That is how the world operates. When did you die? Like, do you not know how? This isn't so, funny. So what you're saying is it's almost like your old life is over. Oh, wow. Oh. So sorry to bring you to this reality. I mean, I deleted all your music anyway. Annabelle, you have never been without your phone since you've ever had a phone. It's, it's never been outside your, your reach. This is the first time where, that you can recall where you haven't been able to just pick it up and text somebody or tweet or stream or check Facebook or uh, access the Internet. Okay. Which, by the way, there's like right. drinks to let out Mark in it. Um. I'm oh, you crush it with your heel? Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm sure I keep... I should, I should check for damage on that heel. Because I'm sure it's designed. <laughs> no, it's, 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 we're, it's for uh, birth on the right, yeah, We've been through this. Uh, I'm sure I actually keep a couple burner phones, because this is not our first rodeo. I'll just program a burner phone with our three numbers. It'll take a few minutes to uh, t for Eve to retrieve it. Yes. I'm sure that she can have it by the time yeah. Annabelle leaves to talk to Chris. Yeah. Excellent. It's okay. This is, a, this is a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Unplugging. This is... Maybe this is what I need. I have a lot going on right now. This is fine. This is fine. You have this to be fine. what you kids call off the grid. Oh my god! Mom! Mm! What did you say? She called you mom. Oh, feels it hurts, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah, I know. Excuse me. Wow. I mean, you did take her phone. Yeah, and you guys adopted me, right? And you you took, took her the music. Baron. I didn't take it, I got rid of it. Same. No. I, I gave her phone. phone back. Oh, you're so nice. I would make a good dad. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. So, okay. we That's need to funny. get him, we need to move on because uh, yeah, we're yeah. burning moonlight. Great. Great. So, go talk to Lacrosse. Great. Okay. Um I'll go talk to Chris. Yeah. Cool. Did you hear that phone? Cool. Yeah. Cool. She'll get it on the way out. Cool, 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 cool. So, you'd like Eve to hand over a burner phone to Annabelle as she exits the sanctum? Mm -hmm. It's okay. a bad one. It's like an old like flip. Like, <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It's wow, really adding true. insult to injury. Uh, really? yeah. Like when you text, you have to push each button three times to get the letters. I mean, it's retro, <laughs> but functional. But functional. Should the silver Motorola one? Like, yeah. Yes. Like, I mean, you gotta like pop that thing. Yeah. Right. For emergency use only. There you go. Stay off Twitter. You go check out Chris. I'll be there. You won't see me. Okay. All right. Let's break that down. Annabelle, you are exiting out onto the campus quad, and you are making your way to Chris's apartment. 
And Jasper, are you being seen? I'm being unseen. At this time? I'm being unseen, and my hunger does not go up. Okay, so you remain at the current hunger, mm -hmm. and you are invisible mm -hmm. as much as you can be as you exit onto the quad where yeah. those musicians are back. <laughs> and this time, it's some saxophone feeble imitation of Waylon Jennings and, if you are not mistaken, Taylor Swift combined. Um, why, why they seem pleased with themselves, and they've drawn a bigger crowd this time, though. Oh, good. I'm going to rescind my grant. <laughs> <laughs> no scholarship for them. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at your sanctum, Nellie and Victor, do you take any additional steps now that Annabelle is out of earshot, or are you content with your, your masquerade cleanup plan? Did you put it on her? Yeah. Car's taken care of. Again, I think the illness probably taken care of as long as she stops. I got one of my fashion students to plant one on Chris, too. Do you know where he is? Do I know? Yes, you do know exactly where. Well, you couldn't say where Chris is, but you know exactly where the object that you planted on Chris is, because that becomes mm -hmm. the only thing that your mind can see when you focus and concentrate. Your thoughts narrow to that one object pulsing red in your mind like a little tiny heartbeat. And yes, you can pinpoint the distance and direction, and judging from where you have already been, you would say that he is at home at this time. 99% sure he's at home. 97% sure he's home. I actually text Jasper. We had eyes on Chris. He's probably home. Mm -hmm. How's your flip phone doing there? <laughs> Great. <laughs> I, I look and go, mm -hmm. Now, you are going to... <laughs> Tail, Annabelle. Where, where were you? Where are we heading towards Chris's yeah, house? We're in Chris's apartment. I'll whisper that we're pretty sure mm. he's at home. Okay. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. So you make your way across the quad with its disturbing music. Uh, Several blocks north of campus is where Chris's apartment is located. You've been here once before, of course, um, last night, when things went terrifically badly, and Victor lost his temper and uh, tried to drink Chris's blood. And you threatened everybody with a lacrosse stick. Sounds like something I'd do. <laughs> when you reach the apartment, um, ring the bell, and a voice you don't recognize answers. Yeah? Hey, uh, is Chris here? It, it's uh, Annabelle. Long pause. No. No, Chris isn't here. Come, okay. come on up. The door buzzes, <laughs> and you can enter. I mean, they can't see me. It'll be fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Love it. So you're going to enter the building? Mm -hmm. Up the stairs to where you remember his, the door to where his apartment was? Yeah. Jasper, are you trying to enter the building as well, or are you remaining outside? Um, I'm going to try and enter the building. As she walks through and the door is shutting, I'm just going to slide through the doorway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you have been here before, and she knows that you're tailing, so no check required. Okay. Mm -hmm. Glide on up the stairs behind her? Mm-hmm. Annabelle, you reach the door to the apartment, and it's already open. And there's a young man that you don't recognize um, standing there. He's um, in his mid-twenties. He's athletic, like Chris, uh, but not as cute, and his hair is darker. He's wearing a blue button-down shirt and khakis, and he looks like maybe he slept in his clothes. In fact, he looks like he hasn't slept in days. And he stares at you vacantly and says, yeah? What do, you, what do you want? Um, Chris and I are study buddies for Soch, and I was wondering if he was around. <laughs> no, no, he's not around. Who are you again? Uh, Annie, Annie from Soch. Oh, he never mentioned you. Mm. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm Rick, I'm Chris's brother. Holds oh, out his hand. Uh, nice to meet you, Rick. Yeah, so, 
So you don't know. Know what? He's dead. My brother's dead. Um. He died last night. There was an accident. Um, hit and run. Come on in out of the hallway if you want. I... Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm, yeah. You mind if I if I come in first for a second? Yeah, sure. Knock whatever you want. Oh. Huh. Um, I came down to check things out and you know see the police report and I can't believe it. When when did this happen? I I mean I. Last night. Um, couple blocks off campus he was uh, he was out at a bar with some friends and came home late and it was really fast I can't believe it I'm so did sorry. you did you know him well not not really just I mean you know just through school and everything but he was really a sweet guy he was just yeah. he's a real gentleman you know? Yeah, he was awesome. He was, he was the best brother. Yeah. Jasper, you can overhear this from your vantage point in the hallway, but yeah. I assume you're not entering the building? Mm, not entering no. the apartment? That's too much of a risk. Okay. So, were you, um, were you, uh, were you Chris's girlfriend? <laughs> no, 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 oh. I am, um, we were just, you know, starting to get to know each other and, and maybe, yeah. I don't know, it would have been fun to have gotten to know him better. Ah, uh, I'm sure he would have liked that. It's, he was, uh, he was a great guy. I yeah. mean, so full of life. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, can I get you anything? Water? No, or no, beer I should, or something? no, no, I should, I should actually go, but please let me know if, if there's anything you need, I'll, I'll back another day. Annabelle, right? Something. Uh, Annie? Yeah, Annie. Annie. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. I get, I get out of he the closes the He closes the apartment door behind you, and you can hear the sound of the lock clicking. You are alone in the hallway of the apartment. Jasper, are you there? Mm, yes. Jasper, did you guys kill Chris? Uh, I didn't. He didn't know anything. He, it's just the job from sociology. Yeah, he was. That's what I meant earlier. Even if they don't know anything. Do you think that? I mean, they. They did this, right? Somebody, the, 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 uh, people, masquerade, the Baron, or... You're asking if the Baron did this? Yeah. It's very possible. There are sounds from the, uh, apartment lobby downstairs by the front door. There are people entering the building, and you can hear some... Um, happy chatter downstairs. Uh, can't quite catch the words being spoken, but it's several people at least. Two, maybe three. We you can hear the sound of footsteps on the stairs. Okay, I, I gotta um, leave, get out. I'm just gonna get out. Mm -hmm. Heading out of the building? Yeah, head out of the building. Down the stairs, you pass by a trio of uh, students talking. Uh, they think they're chattering about the, maybe the movie that they've just seen. One of their favorite stars, they're smiling, pleased, and uh, uh, they stop and say hello to you and uh, make room for you to pass down the stairs. I am, um, I leave. Just Exit the building? Uh, yeah. Jasper, are you I'm behind? keeping close behind her to use the void they've let 
her used to get through mm -hmm. so I can you know the store you and the store mm -hmm. are old friends we by now you, met many you know times. everything there is to know about how the store opens <laughs> how it closes and everything in between the store has got nothing on you I gotta handle no the check store. required very familiar let's go back to our uh, our dangerous couple here so we want to check out the SUV that we commandeered. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Stole. Battlefield acquired. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Do I know of any chop shops that we've worked with in the past? Or You personally, perhaps not, but you know people who know people, and those people might well know. Do you want to personally inspect the interior of the SUV? Yeah, I would, but I would like to do it nowhere near where we are in case there's a tracker on it. Mm, okay. Well, where did you leave it last night? Yeah, I would say we didn't leave it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we, 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 didn't, you know, we didn't drive it home. Good thinking. Uh, yeah. I'd say mm -hmm. three, four blocks over. Very wise. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you want to get it to a safer location? Is yes. that it? I'm essentially looking for a place where once we've looked it over, we've checked the GPS logs, it's going to get taken apart and disappear. Mm, okay. I'm looking to dispose of the vehicle. Ah, uh, you want it gone. Yes, I after see. we look at it. But you, want, then... you want nothing left when you're done. Yes, I it see. can be aftermarket parts. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Let me just consult your character sheet for a moment. I keep an ear to the street. You are a resourceful vampire. You have I've many friends. This, I've made it this far. Mm -hmm. Good job. You have almost as many friends as you have enemies. It's true. Oh, you can't have one without the other, though. Okay. It's very much a yin yang. Are you willing to pay for this uh, service? Of course. You're willing to expend cash? Of course. Okay. No questions asked? You get what you pay for. Fair enough. Resources it is, then. Yes. Okay. Uh, that will take some few minutes to arrange. Um, the neighborhood of East L.A. is not uh, unsavory, but it's not exactly Beverly Hills either. So mm -hmm. there are locations that you can access within a reasonable distance, but it will take some time. Uh, are you going to follow in another vehicle? Are you going to meet your colleagues there? That is what I would like to do. I'd like we can follow in, a, in another vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, and then once we get there, the main things we're looking for are to check the GPS log of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Uh, see if there is any sort of trackers mm -hmm. on it, mm -hmm. and just if there's anything else of note. If anybody left anything, if there was a book, a wallet, a just just in anything, look mm -hmm. over the. Corner. You're gonna go over it with a fine tooth comb. Yes. Oh, yes. And uh, when you say you're gonna meet your colleagues there, does that mean you're gonna let them know where to go? Uh, I would say, uh, how do you feel about driving? Mm -hmm. Me driving? Is a stupid question. So I'm gonna <laughs> have <laughs> Eve drive us in another one of our cars. <laughs> And I'll have I'll have somebody else on the payroll drive the SUV. They don't need to know it's Providence or any of that. Right. Just how do your colleagues know where to go? We'll give them the address. All right, but not why. Like, or not. Yeah, we're okay. dropping this car off. From a burner phone. Yes. Yes. Let's compress time a little bit then and move the scene forward. So uh, when we um, when we start our next scene, the coterie will have convened at the. Uh, auto parts garage that you've designated mm -hmm. uh, in East East Hollywood, mm -hmm. really East Hollywood. <laughs> mm -hmm. East side. The question though is how you get there. Jasper doesn't drive, no. really. I mean, I know how, but I don't own a car. But Annabelle does. I do. It's a really crappy Honda Civic. It's like okay. really old. I'm just missing some of the letters. That's, I mean, look at me. And the back seat's kind of full of junk. I'm not, I, that's fine. Okay. So it's a Han? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Han. Uh, um. I, look. I'm sorry your friend died. I mean, I didn't know him and it doesn't mean anything to me, but I'm sorry. You really gotta work on your apologies. No, I don't. I don't apologize often. Then, it's... Okay, that's good. Thank you. As a friendly reminder, you backed up all your stuff to cloud, right? When you had a phone. Yeah. When you get a it, new phone, you can just yeah, yeah, you can just download it again. Yeah. Thanks. So, your music will still be on there. <clears throat> Thank you. Let me make a note. I am. Um... We can get in your Honda. Okay. 
Um, that's actually at, at my place. Uh, oh. I don't know if it's... I mean, that's fine. Okay. Any calls or stops along the way? Um, yeah. Um... I'm gonna call ahead uh, to L. Hey, I'm glad to hear from you. How's it going? Is it is it what you thought it would be? <laughs> uh, yeah, I am. Um, you know, don't you remember I, I sparkle like when when I hit when light hits me and everything? Yeah, really I know you sparkle, babe. You can sparkle <laughs> over here anytime you want. Are you com are you coming home? Or are you I still out? I have to, I have to get the car, but L, um. Yeah? What's wrong? You can tell me. I, I need you to, I need you to grab some stuff and I need you to go stay with somebody else for a little while. Just, just for her, just, just, um. For how long? Uh, just for tonight, for right now, and so okay. you hear from me, okay? What do you want me to get? Um, bring, just. You know, close for a couple of days, and yeah. um, I don't know your plant and the bag, the bag of things. All of them. Yeah. I the whole bag. I don't know how many work, but uh, yeah. The wooden stakes too. Yeah, especially those. Okay, baby. Okay, I'm gonna go to Sarah's. Okay, that's good. Okay. Call me tomorrow night. Okay. I love you. I need you. Yours, Belle. Forever. Did I hear any of that? You could hear Annabelle's side of the conversation. Okay. So let's finish compressing time. I'd also like to... Uh, Make Almost call. compressing time. <laughs> Is there I, another phone uh, call? Uh, just a Mark. Mark Temple? Yeah. Hey. Hey, you. Hi, love. Um, I, how? This is great. Are you coming over? <laughs> no, I, I just wanted to let you know I can't make it over tonight. Oh. Um, I haven't seen you in days. I know, I know. This uh, blows. Yeah, it's, but it's, it's, I, trust me, I, we will get together and we will finally get to watch, uh, some, some more Game of Thrones and, uh. Yeah, we gotta get ready for the new season. <laughs> no, we don't. We went over this. It's gonna take, anyway. <sighs> it's, are you doing okay? Everything's, everything's fine? Well. I mean, you mean the stuff we talked about? I still can't quite. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot. Yeah. But I believe you. Thanks. Or I believe that you believe it. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, we Look, can... I mean, it's, it's not every day your girl, or every night your girlfriend tells you something like that. Yeah. It's a lot to take in. Yeah, I know, and I appreciate it. And I'm you. worried about you. I appreciate you being patient, um, but... Okay, so you promise I'll see you in a few days? Yeah, I promise. I promise, promise. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, I love you. Love you, Belle. Okay. All right. You really went all in, all in on this, didn't you? Like, not just one, two. Any others? More people. I mean, I'm not... I don't care about the relationships. I just mean people you told. No, that's right. it. Um, and you probably should not tell uh, Victor. You think? Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. Cool. Onward. Okay. It's a nondescript automotive garage. Hasn't been used in a long time except for storage. The people there are well paid pay no attention to you, and you have free access to the vehicle under conditions that are ideal for your investigation. 
give Nellie a few sidelong glances. The stilettos are a little out of place in a shop like this, but you know, she again, turns heads everywhere we go. Well paid. So, the coterie back together again. Okay. Um, because I don't address any of that since they, you know, they're they're paid to not pay attention, but you know they still have ears. You get right to work. Yeah, just right to it. Sure. Um, yeah, just. Again, check the GPS log of the car, you know, anywhere it's been. Search it over for what's in it. Checking underneath the car. Well, there's not a lot in the SUV, um, but there are a couple of important things to note. There are a lot of candy wrappers, which does not exactly suggest vampires. Unless vampires have suddenly developed a taste for chocolate. Um, the floor mats, extraordinarily dirty. Gravel mud, uh, and what looks like rusty metal shavings. And you did say you checked the GPS records, is that right? Yes, sir. Hmm. Whoever's got the best technology should probably make that roll. Who oh, no, over here. <laughs> What's the, is it intelligence plus? Yeah. No. <laughs> Right. You know There's what? intelligence and my bad, sorry. Oh, three. Hey, look at me. <laughs> you know what, Jasper? All right. So often you, you don't get to play behind the wheel of a car, so there you go. Is, in, is invisibly, the, I go look. Who, anybody who has at least one dot in technology can help him look oh. over his shoulder and advise him. And yes. for each person who helps, uh, you can add one die to the pool. I will definitely all right. assist. We're all, all helping. Right. Yeah. We're all helping. All right. We're all crap. So with around. hunger dice as well, correct? With the hunger dice. Substitute your hunger in for an equal number of regular dice. And I get an additional dice for each one of them, correct? Mm -hmm. Two successes. Two successes. Those are our team, by the way. Barely enough. <laughs> You nearly wipe the whole thing. <laughs> it's not until everybody points and says, no, don't do that, don't push that one, where you recover the mistake and actually call up last night's records, which is all that's on it. So, thanks to the built-in GPS system, you can trace the vehicle's location, or at least its roots, last night. The last place, the most recent, is of course Griffith Observatory which is where you stole it. Acquired uh, it. Acquired it. Uh, previous to that, it was at Hollywood and Highland, which is where you met the Baron. And you will recall, I think, and if you don't, then he will remind you that you were tailed the from that location. Mm -hmm. So they knew you were there. And then the last location, which is to say the earliest from last night, uh, is an address in the valley. The valley. The valley. I have plans for the valley. Don't worry about it. Okay. Make um, a note of the address. Make a note of the address. Mm -hmm. um, quick internet search tells you that uh, it is or was a factory in an industrial district not too far from the highway. Um... Roughly what time of night is it now? It's pretty early still. You haven't been awake very long. You've got hours to go. I'd like to go straight there. Sure. Why not? I don't like having hits ordered on us. Let's go. You want to check out the Yes, yes. The location? The, uh, well, I, is there anything else of note in the car besides that? It's clean and, otherwise. And we do check underneath. There's, uh, mm -hmm. there's no registration, no insurance car. Nothing like that. You don't even know if the plates are, are legit. That would take time. No, then, yeah, leave okay. it to the discretion of these fine, gentle people okay. to make sure it's never seen again. There's a real chance that wherever our vehicle ended up, they've also dumped our GPS, but I don't really think any moves we made in that were a tremendous secret. You know, the Baron's place, the college, the club, so be it. Um, yeah, then I won't say anything else till we get in the car. Okay. Uh, you've got uh, half an hour's drive ahead of you. So, how things go with Josh? It was Chris. 
was. Yeah, was. <laughs> Apparently a hit and run last night. Hmm. Apparently. Did you know anything about this? You asked me, like, do you know where Chris is? Do you? Did you? I didn't know. Honest. I told you last night that what we are is hunger. It's not quite true. What we are is death. We bring death with us everywhere. We bring death to everyone. This was completely preventable, though. It was, by you keeping your mouth shut. He didn't know anything, though. So, who does know something? I mean, aren't you worried? Doesn't this worry you? If somebody who didn't know anything, but was just involved with me in my life, could get hurt? Doesn't that worry you? You know, I think she's saying that maybe being exposed to her has put my son at risk. That maybe I should have tried to conceal his identity from the entire world. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Weird. Yeah, Here, let that. me charge your phone. Oh, lose his battery really quickly. When she gives it to me, I hand it to Eve and I say, dump the numbers, run a trace on everyone she called. So. That will take some time, sir. Of course. I understand. Just let me know we're driving now. When you can. Is there anything else we need to know about anyone else? Yeah, I told you. Don't lie. It's gonna put their lives at danger and you Jasper, know Jasper, is there anything we need to know about anyone else? She's all of our problem now. I know. She made two phone calls while we were in the car. I only heard her half of them. She's attempting to take care of the problems in a non-violent manner. Don't know if it worked. The area you're headed into is an industrial park in the valley. Not somewhere between the rail yards and the highway. Not exactly the most uh, interesting or populated part of Los Angeles. Uh, the area reeks of... Mm, Hazardous neglect. There are very few working streetlights out here. Pavement is cracked and stained with decades of, uh, of oil drippings. There are dozens of factory buildings. Some are almost a century old. Some are maybe only a, a decade or so. Uh, and as you, uh, as he pulls into the parking lot at the address that you got from the GPS, uh, you can see a huge, lightless, rusting hulk of a building crisscrossed with half-rotted fire escapes and um, unsafe-looking pillar supports on the outside. Doesn't look like anybody's here. She cuts the motor. I, I, would ask, huh? I actually would ask her to stop about a block or so away. Like, we wouldn't just pull up and be like, hey, shady, <laughs> shady hideout right. place. She pulled into the yes. parking lot. So how close do you want her to get? A, a, a block away a from, our our, from our destination. Sure. Yeah. She can do that. Any ideas? You can hear the uh, commotion of heavy machinery in the distance. There's probably a factory here that's uh, running the third shift, doing something. Mm. This place looks dark. Well, there's only one of us who can disappear and check perimeters. Would you mind? Sure. Oh, you want to exit, exit the vehicle? It's still pretty dark. You don't need to go invisible all the time. You're wearing black. So you're really not paying attention. That's what I'm taking from this. You're not listening or hearing any of this, right? Look. This face. These. If you saw me and you were who you used to be, and we were in a dark alley. Okay, point. Yes. Now, yeah, I'm really good at being unseen without using my, my specialties. But, you know why I keep living? 
because I don't take chances on just being quiet. Okay, do what you gotta do. I get hungrier. Hunger is building. Now Increasing. Mm. The beast reminding you that it's there, always. <clears throat> and will eventually need to be satisfied. Mm -hmm. However, you are successful in your endeavor and are at scene. Headed to the building? Yes. Okay. What is everyone else doing while Jasper is handling reconnaissance? Nellie, my darling. Mm. Yes? I need your help. With? Somehow, I have failed to impress upon our young associate here the gravity of the situation that we all find ourselves in. Mm. And the lengths we have to go to protect ourselves and everyone else and the lengths that I will go to to protect those that I love. Jasper, wits, wits plus awareness, please. Because clearly she's not hearing me, so maybe she'll hear you. Oh, Annabelle, what have you done? Critical. Exactly. Uh, I believe that's a yeah. oh, critical on one blood die and a critical on a normal die. I, it's a messy critical. I didn't know what to do, and I was sloppy because I didn't know that there were all of these rules. Okay, don't need the fluff. I need the details and quick. What happened? Who did you tell? And what are they doing? It's a matter of life and death, Annabelle. You might have heard the saying, you'd never lie to your doctor and you never lie to your lawyer. We well, you also don't lie to the coterie, because yeah. we've got to cover you. I know, but the doctor and the lawyer aren't going to call somebody in to stage a hit and run. If I implicate somebody else, how do I know that I can trust you two? You don't. Hmm. But we're all you have. Because what's the alternative? Well, you already know that my girlfriend knows. Who else? My boyfriend, Mark. So you did tell him? Yeah. But as you said, it's our problem now. When you spoke to him today, what'd you say? Nothing. I just wanted to make sure that he was okay. Don't like, I didn't it. tell him anything about it. He just knows something's up with me. He doesn't even know. I didn't use the word vampire. I... He doesn't even believe me. Really. I mean, he's being very kind about it. So I'm going to ask you again, did you feed on my son? No. <laughs> wow. No. No. That seemed funny to you. That seemed somehow out of the it's realm of possibility. Like, this is the worst possible conversation to be having with your boyfriend's dad. <laughs> oh, wow. Jasper? Yeah. Messy critical. Yeah. Oh no. Creeping through the darkness, the nearly impenetrable darkness outside this factory, you are aware of the distinct scrabbling and squeaking of many, many rats. Mm -hmm. A lot of rats, maybe dozens of rats. Right. They come scuttling out of the darkness and they do not seem afraid of you like most animals do. They circle around your feet, squeaking and chittering, sniffing at your shoes. Maybe even clawing at your pant legs. And before you can help yourself, you scoop one up and have a taste. It's disgusting. Mm. It's like every rancid piece of meat you ever mistakenly ate when you were breathing multiplied by a hundred. And you instantly regret not clamping down on the beast when you had the chance. Why did I do that? It never, it never tastes good, ever. I don't understand why I try. Huh. Fortunately, in this near totally darkness, mm -hmm. in this barren, almost featureless wasteland of an industrial park, there's no one to see your mistake. <laughs> That's good. So, you reach the building, mm -hmm. and the rats accompany you. Swirling around your feet, there are several dozen now. They're small, hairy little bodies, 
moving, undulating in the darkness, their hairless tails whipping back and forth, their little rodent eyes looking at you, teeth chomping expectantly as though they're waiting for something. I've never liked rats. Especially don't like these rats. Can't imagine why. Hmm. Does this look suspicious to me, or does this just look like animals acting weird? This is animals acting weird. Okay. For most vampires, animals are a problem. They, they don't like you. They know that you're not part of the mortal coil, and they tend to, at best, be standoffish mm-hmm. and reluctant to approach. Some vampires, of course, have more facility with animals than others. Sim can even speak to animals or command them. Mm-hmm. But this is not one of those cases. You're not one of those vampires. No, so it doesn't mean someone around here isn't. True. Now they know I'm there even with me being unseen. Animals don't need to see to find you. Mm. Interesting. All right. Do I see an entrance to this building? Yeah, you see multiple entrances. I mentioned the, uh, the rusting fire escapes. Yeah. Uh, there are at least six of those. There are multiple doors. There are large um, garage-type doors for loading docks. There are side doors. There are some front doors nearly rotting off the hinges. You could have your pick of ways into this dark, spooky place. Are there any ones that are already open or windows that have been broken or opened Mm. up? There are a lot of broken windows on the ground floor. Glass smashed, easy access, probably not able to get in noiselessly, though. Right, okay. Back at the SUV, uh, Eve wants to know if you want her to patrol the area. Should she take a look around? Should we sit tight, sir? Sit tight till we hear from Jasper. Okay. Thanksgiving is going to be so awkward. I hope you're happy. You're thinking about Thanksgiving at a time like this? It's the little things that get me through the day or <laughs> night. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, now that you know, how do we fix this? Because if somebody who knew absolutely nothing about all of this and who really wasn't a threat and who everybody knew wasn't, wasn't a threat, could just be knocked off so easily like that, then how are we going to protect the people we care about? Mm. You thought I was so terrible for not letting Mark remember me. Now you understand why. You want to protect them? Stay away from them. Don't text. Don't call. Because I need you to understand something important. We aren't like some of our kind in the sense that immortality is not so bad. You know, being kindred isn't so terrible. Mm. And one of the... Well, you'll be beautiful forever at least. But one of the most interesting things about us is there's a pretty short list of things that actually kill us. Sunlight, decapitation. We can live through quite a lot. So, what I need you to understand... And I'm telling you this uh, both as a friend and as a colleague. If anything happens to my son, I will spend centuries tormenting you. I will cut off your toes. I will cut off your fingers. I will stake you and leave you out and let you starve in pain and anguish for centuries. And the only reason I don't do that to you at this exact second is I believe you didn't know. You didn't know. This time yesterday, life was completely different, but you're here now. No more fuck-ups. This is the game. This is our lives. Do you understand? If something happens to Mark, I deserve that. When she says that, I get out of the car and I head towards the building. Very well. He's not usually that bad. Mark's a really special guy. Don't mess it up, then. Your expensive shoes crunch on the gravel in the pavement, God. announcing your approach. Okay, Pretty gravel. easy to hear coming. The rats scatter. And I see him coming up. Very clearly. What was the point? Why did I do this? 
Why do I try? <laughs> I get maybe, if we parked about a block away, I get maybe 100 yards from the building, and I just stand there. I don't say anything. I don't make any noise. I'm just, like, if somebody's going to take a shot, like, I just Did stand there. The I'm going to follow him. Good. Mm-hmm. I'm sandwiching, so I'm going to be behind mm-hmm. her. Okay. Are you sauntering? I'm just, just asking. I am <laughs> lightly prancing. <laughs> wow, that's she's uh, pronking. You don't see that every day in an in a industrial park at night. Mm-hmm. Really. I, uh, I, I go quietly. Mm-hmm. I am aware of the fact that he's snuck in, so I'm actually trying to provide a semi diversion, or at least wait to hear from him. That's why I'm just being blatant. Got it. Understood. All right. So, Jasper. Yeah. Now that the rats are gone. Hmm. And that you have reached the abandoned factory. Yeah. What would you like to do? Um, you said there was doors practically rotting off the hinges. Absolutely. Correct? Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to attempt hmm. to silently open one. Hmm. Okay. Or squeeze through whatever hole is left. Well. From it being slightly ajar. You, 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 you've got a shot for sure. Right. But this is not an easy task by any means. Um, dexterity mm-hmm. and stealth. Got it. The uh, I need five successes. This is hard. All right. I believe in you, Stormboy. <laughs> He's very felt. Oh. Five. Five successes. Five on the top. <laughs> I told you, I believe in you. Exactly. For a moment, for just a moment, you think you're going to lose your balance and fall against the wooden door, <laughs> and you know, you just know that it will shriek wood against metal, announcing your presence to everybody. But catch yourself and slide almost bonelessly through the narrow opening. If there was a Olympic medal for sneakery, <laughs> <laughs> you would win the gold. You find yourself in cavernous factory interior. Huge, defunct manufacturing floor covered with broken glass, metal shards, rat refuse. It's going to be extraordinarily difficult to sneak your way through this place. There's just so much junk everywhere. And the near total darkness makes navigation pretty difficult. You can see rusting remains of assembly lines and sagging conveyor belts and huge cavernous furnaces that once cooked something. Um, All the electrical equipment has been torn away. The wiring has been ripped out, probably sold for scrap. It's hard to tell what the place was really used for, Mm -hmm. um, but it hasn't been used for a long time. Looking upwards, you can see a, a row of what look like offices that you can reach if you were wanted to climb up a extraordinarily dangerous looking metal staircase um, pieces of the roof have collapsed exposing the factory floor to the night sky i mean this place is just better homes and garden all over the place what a lovely place um all right i'll uh take out my phone mm-hmm. and i'll text victor that the place looks abandoned and completely dilapidated and that we will not be able to get in here without being heard. It's a long text message for a flip phone. It takes a couple minutes. I've got nimble <laughs> fingers. <laughs> that is the text message that you receive. Have they gotten up to me yet? They're I'm not up to you. Yeah. All right. I've collected myself back to business. So... Eve remains with the car? Yes. The, the lights off, but engine running. Again, we might have to beat a hasty exit. That would never happen, Adam. <laughs> just, just in case, I'm, I'm cautious by nature. Okay. Uh, when she gets close, yeah. I say, I'm like, stay behind me. I can take a shot. Um, okay. But I do turn, and I'm like, this was probably just a meeting point. Jasper says it's empty. I it's don't meant- trust that. Besides, I trust Jasper. I don't trust that it's just an inconspicuous spot. Would you like me to ring the doorbell? There's a doorbell? Yeah, I mean, I can... It's yeah. a euphemism, I think, for he's going to kick the door down or something. It's called sarcasm. Oh. 
I'm going to try going up the staircase to the office. You're going to try to make it up the yeah. incredibly dangerous looking the staircase? Incredibly dangerous looking staircase. Wow, well, you did get five successes on the last check, so I did. You're really trying to push your luck here. Apparently so. I you see. Have faith. Um, are you trying to be silent or safe? Safe. You don't want to fall. I don't want to fall, and I'm betting on the fact that I am unseen and that this place is rickety as hell, mm -hmm. too, that could just be a random noise, metal creaking. So, mm -hmm. safe. Okay. It's the same roll. Okay. It's hard. Let's see the five successes. <laughs> so he did not mention the rats to me. Okay. No, I did not. Got it. Okay. No. The rats are known to Jasper alone. One success. Oh. There is a shriek of tearing metal as the stairs pull away from the brick walls after you've climbed up about 10 feet. Everybody outside here is the rending of metal and the crash that follows. Fortunately, you don't drop far enough to hurt yourself or impale yourself on rusted machinery or anything more dangerous than that, but you have announced that Jasper is here to anyone with an earshot. I go, Great, at that point, I go I running in. When sprint. I hear the crash, I go running, because he yeah. might be in trouble. Yeah. Race forward, Annabelle also, mm -hmm. right into the front door. Right. Plowing through. Right. Okay. I'm now, sauntering. Sauntering. Once I get inside. The rear guard is sauntering. Yes, she, expert level saunterer. Once right inside, like soaring leap over all the garbage and stuff, <laughs> like to the wreckage. <laughs> Remember that I said it was so dark, it was very difficult to navigate in here? That's going to be, it's going to be a, Require I'm a role to be not even safe. like a cloud of dust, like no idea. Mm. Okay, I mean, if I'm obviously if it's like suicidal, I don't definitely not suicidal right. considering how much of a hit you can take, but right. unlikely that you're going to land where you want. Well, my goal is to help, so if I don't think I can do that, I'm not gonna. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I do. Uh, I walk in and like once I hear all the crash, do mm -hmm. I hear anything else in the silence after the crash? Like, does he at this? No. I land and go. <laughs> you meant to do that, right? I, do I, I? I assume I hear them come through the door. Absolutely, there is no way for them to disguise the crash. Annabelle and like, Victor come <laughs> busting through. Victor looks like he's coiled and ready to leap into battle at any second. I'm keeping eyes behind. I'm turning around. And ah, watching checking. behind. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. you can just see the uh, SUV. Headlight. In the any other headlights? She's excellent vision. She does have super good vision. Hey, I saw a headlight last time. I might as well check again. Yeah. Relevant, relevant. Uh, wits and investigation. The outcome is in doubt. I'm going to make my way over to them, to Victor. Ready? Hey, are you okay? Do you let them see you when you show up? No. Okay. One? Okay. Despite your superior eyesight, you don't see anybody revealed in the darkness, and you don't see any of their vehicles or any other lights. Okay, I'm gonna catch up to the crew then. Jasper, okay. did you fall and wreck your face again? Mm. Jasper! No, I didn't. But I did. The staircase gave way when I was trying to go upstairs. It sure was no fault of your own, my friend. Uh, if there was any other Nos in here, would you know? Look. Yeah, can we sense that? There's the possibility. Possibility. Wait, so what's going on? <laughs> Nellie has reached the door. I'm trying to find out if there's any other Nos in here. Oh. There's the... There's the possibility that we're being watched. There's some unusually intelligent rats in here. As if on cue, you can all hear it in the darkness. The scrabbling, the scratching, the sound of little tiny razor sharp claws on cement, on metal, on wood getting louder, coming from the corners of the darkness. Not on my stilettos. <laughs> coming closer to you. Yeah, I those think they'd probably love to, to chew on those kind no. of things. Um, Annabelle, 
wits and awareness, please? For me to an attempt an intimidation, do I need to know who I'm trying to intimidate or can I kind of like try and bully anyone in earshot? You need a valid target. Okay. And you need to know that someone you is actually intimidate there. that air. I mean, tell, I'm going to scare the hell out of these rats. I'll be like, hey, rats. <laughs> Get them out. Back off. Three successes. Three successes. Oh. We'll it's get it. it's gone forever. Yep. Yeah, Belongs to the blood. Gone bag. forever. The rats yeah, have it. <laughs> <laughs> the rats have Food's it. Food's not very plentiful here, so you know they take what they can get. Mm -hmm. You look up toward the offices where Jasper was trying to get the ones that are reachable by the now destroyed staircase, and you see eyes, red eyes, a pair of red eyes glowing in the dark. It's like something out of a, of a Halloween haunted house. There are two pinpricks of red eyes, lights, staring down at you from the top of the catwalk by the offices. Someone's up there. Hmm? Can I... How high is the second <laughs> platform from here? Hmm. It's beyond the reach of a soaring leap. <laughs> Could I? I appreciate because we're both like. Mm. Yeah. Are there any like <laughs> struts or anything still stuck out of the wall yes. that I could? Boom, boom. Is there anything to? Could you parkour your way up <laughs> to the top? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I think I think we can let you try. All right. Multiple things happen at once. All right. How far is the wall? Which one? Where these eyes are. Mm, from you, you would have to navigate the across the factory floor, picking your way through the broken glass, the shards of metal. Yeah, you guys got this. Rats, the... I mean, yeah. in all tech, yeah. yeah. Was Never. It, once she points out that we're being watched, can I see it? Yes. Okay, right. I'm going to use words, but I'll let you uh, okay. do what you're going to do first. Multiple things continue to happen at once. Yeah. So, Jasper, uh, we're going to need two rolls from you. All right. Once to get halfway there. All right. And once to get to the top. This is going to be difficult again. So, uh, this is the... You're going to use Soaring Leap? Yes. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be strength and athletics. All right. That's not a lot of dice for you. It's not. Okay. But uh, the first one only requires three successes. It's just moderately hard to reach the first set of metal I beams that uh, are low enough for you. Two, but I would like to burn a point of willpower. You want to reroll up to three dice? Yes. Only regular dice. Only regular dice. You'll have to accept the second result. Mm hmm. Could have failed at the cost. Four successes. Cost. Four successes. Well, never mind. Okay. So, uh, supernaturally strong. You propel yourself through the air. The rats all pause to watch <laughs> as you go overhead. What I'm going to say, I need to say before he arrives. He grasps the uh, eye beam, the iron protrusion. He's halfway there, steadies himself, and gets ready for the next leap. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to look right at the pinpoint eyes and stare down, intimidate. You want to intimidate the eyes? Yes. Okay. And I would like to say, um, so we're just here to talk, but if you're not talking by the time he gets there, I can't stop what he's going to do to you. So I suggest maybe you let us know who you are. So the uh, result of your intimidation is that you're threatening to beat the eyes with Jasper. Yes. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and roll it. Uh, is that charisma based or manipulation based? Let's make it uh, manipulation. Okay. You're not trying. You're not trying to be charming here. No, the opposite of yes. Mm -hmm. Make sure you add your uh, substitute your hunger dice in for an equal number of regular dice. Absolutely. So. Uh, four successes. No. Five successes. Five successes. I am good at that. You are remarkably good at it. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's extraordinary. Yeah, but will it be enough? Hmm. The lights go out. You don't see the eyes anymore. Jasper, do you want to continue your leaping? Why not? <laughs> I'm halfway there already. Make a second strength plus, second athletic. strength plus athletics roll. All right. Three successes again is what you're looking for. Two successes. You could choose to succeed at a cost since you you did get some successes even though you failed the roll. 
Right. What would that cost be? Mm. So, <laughs> uh, what the cost will be is that when you uh, reach the top, you will have overshot the mark, smashed through one of the plate glass windows <laughs> of the office, and land up in the office floor. But you will be at the top. Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Let's what could possibly, what go could possibly go wrong? Okay, vaulting up and over the iron railing, the catwalks. And the balcony, you smash through the plate glass window. Lacerations and bruises and contusions along the way. I'm going to take uh, five, uh, six superficial damage from Out the cuts. Three. Now, um, cut them in half because yes. they're superficial and your undead flesh is very difficult to injure. So that's a total of three. Mm. Mm. It's not a scratch. Mm, not really. It's not more really. Than, more than a scratch but less than a serious wound. You end up on the floor of the office. Great, this, is, this night's really, really going well. But you made it, you made the leap. When I see him fly through the window, I just yell out, see, now he's gonna be pissed off. <laughs> well, I mean, in technicality, you don't see anything until the window just explodes <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> so, yeah. I know. Well, now that you're up there, All right. what would you like to do? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make my way over to the position. Yeah. I'm done being stealthy at this got, point. Got, got a lot of glass on you. Little pieces, sharp pieces of glass stuck in you here and there. When I took damage, does that mean my uh, unseen passage goes away? Yes. Okay, yeah. great. So I'm that, just visible that now. That kind of forceful interaction with the real world would make you appear. Great. I'm just gonna rush over and see what I see. See what you see? Yeah. Okay. Um, Obviously, this thing is not well, a person. So, uh, of course, you're at a very high vantage point. You can uh, you can look down right. on the uh, on the factory, and in the very dim light, um, what little there is, you can see your your colleagues looking up at you um, with a mixture of you know awe and ooh, ouch, didn't look didn't look good. You don't see any of the rats though. The rats seem to have gone again. And looking to your left and right along the, the catwalk that lines the offices, you, you don't see any of those red eyes or, or anybody else. What you do see, coming from the parking lot area, is some headlights. And that is the time when your phone buzzes with a text message, Victor. Incoming. Car, now. Back to the car. Actually, soaring lead back to the car. <laughs> you are inside the building at the moment. Mm -hmm. and the headlights are in the parking lot. So yes. one of you is upstairs in the office. Three of you are on the factory floor. So do I understand that your intention is to leave the factory? Yes, sir. And start leaping away? Yes, back okay. towards the car. What about Annabelle? You're going to leave Jasper in here? Are you going to head out with Victor? Are you going to hang back? Are you okay up there? I'm great. Go. Doesn't sound okay. I'm I'm gonna go. You're gonna leave. Yeah. Follow Victor yeah. out. I'll follow Victor out. What about Nellie, who is fairly close to the doorway. I'm waiting for these two to pass. I'm gonna look at Jasper. Give the little. Eye. I'm gonna start now because the staircase is gone. I would just have to jump down. Part from of it's here. still there. How high am I? Mm, you're good 30, 35 feet up. Almost <laughs> two stories. Oh. Cool. There's a fire escape. There is a fire escape outside, correct? There is. So I'm going to shoot out, try to find a fire escape way down. Such a good track record with those, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to busy yourself looking for the nearest yeah. fire escape door and fire escape attached. Yep. Okay. So I'm the last one out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Through the door that you came in? But of course, with my fabulous glasses on this time. <laughs> Don't need to be seen. It's true. To make an entrance. Yes. Okay. In an In an exit. <laughs> clear the building, or clear the building door, and what you see as you're getting ready to, to jump away is uh, a single car. Um, it looks like um, a sports car, might be very late model, very fast, very expensive sports car uh, motoring into the parking lot mm. at a very unhurried speed. Coming towards us? Mm hmm. Uh, so again, just to, for my own visual, so if the building was here and we'll say our SUV is a block away, like where is it coming from relative to our car? Other side of the building, so another entrance to the parking lot, maybe from one of the other factories. Right. 
So it didn't pass by Eve coming on the way in. Excellent. Um, then I'm actually going to try and kind of stay out of the way. There's a chance this is coincidental. Possible. Right. Okay. Uh, Annabelle? I follow Victor's lead, but I also keep an eye on the building, too. Because tr- Jasper's inside, okay. Because Jasper's still inside? Yeah. Victor, are you trying to conceal yourself in any way? Yes. I mean, I was prepared to throw until I realized, that, like, wait a second, they mm-hmm. might not actually even know we're here, maybe. Possible. Yeah, okay. so just sort of like around the corner type. Now I realize he's the team sneaky person, not me. Okay. So just sort of like... I mean, sometimes I am. <laughs> right, right, it's true. It depends on I how many you, staircases though. and fire escapes are involved. I mean... Right. So kind of around a corner, if I can like behind something, you know... Just... Well, the outcome is in doubt, so dexterity plus stealth. That neither, neither are my thing. I have more blood, I have more hunger than that. I know you asked before if that was yeah, ever the case. okay. I have more... So... And I do not succeed. Failure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's like Emperor's New Groove. What about Nellie? In plain sight in the doorway? Um... I don't think I'm going to be able to re- react fast enough, so I'm just walking out and kind of like, oh. <laughs> I really pace. Okay. Annabelle, still following Victor's lead? Yeah. Okay. Jasper, down the fire escape. I found a fire escape. Found a fire escape. It's actually still bolted to the side of the building. Oh, wonderful. This is your lucky My night. Uh, uh, I'd love to try and go down it. Okay. You uh, can clamber down. It's it's solid. This this one all right. isn't going to fall apart anytime soon. At least not tonight. Any, any the night's not over. Rolls I need to make? No. Uh, <laughs> only if you're trying to come down stealthily. Uh, not really. Not really? <laughs> not at this point in time? Not at this point in time. I've given up. <laughs> okay. Uh, you clamber down the fire escape on the side of the building. Once you reach the ground, what do you do? The car is almost Unseen pulled presence. up to a stop. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna stay still and just use cloak of shadows. Gonna remain unmoving and unseen. So as long as you don't do anything, mm-hmm. you can't be spotted. Yeah. Okay. The car rolls to a stop, maybe 10, 15 yards from the front door. There's the headlights illuminating Nelly, who. Wasn't moving. Engine cuts off. The lights stay on. Car door opens. And a tall, slender person with uh, thick, dark hair and sunglasses gets out and uh, says, Darling, I was hoping I'd find you here. Let us take a short break and then return to the story in a few minutes. Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade, L.A. by Night, Chapter 2, Instruments of Darkness. We'll open the next scene right where we left off, outside the decrepit abandoned factory in the valley, where you have been joined by someone you haven't met before, or have you? Nellie, my dear girl, my child. Oh, Chaz, sweetheart, it's been ages. It certainly has, and you have certainly been busy, especially of late. Well, yes, I've been running a very successful business, but of course you've been keeping tabs now, haven't you? I wasn't referring to your exploits in the fashion industry, my dear. I was referring more to the incidents which took place in the observatory rather recently. How... How would you know these things, Chaz? Ways and means, my dear, but how rude of me. I see you have companions. Mr. Temple, a great pleasure to finally make your acquaintance, sir. And you are? Chaz. Chaz Price. Don't shake his hand. I see Nellie hasn't mentioned me, clearly. Why would I? Ah, well, sometimes it's best for the past to stay dead, I suppose. Mm. We all leave dead things in the past, don't we? Uh-huh. And who is this? 
she's none of your concern, actually. What can we help you with out here? Yeah, Nelly, who is this outlandish person? Outlandish? I've been described as many things, but outlandish. <laughs> Speaking of outlandish, I thought I was going to have to have my informants flayed when they told me that my child was associating with a Nosferatu. Yet it seems they were correct. Dear, dear, Nelly. It's at what? least fashionable. Hmm. Is it? Yes. Well, I suppose it depends on who you ask. <laughs> the right people. Just... I'll step out from around the corner. Hmm. You have let yourself be seen? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. And there he is in all his glory. There we are. Hmm. So your name's Chaz? Huh? Yes, uh, Charles, but Chaz to my friends, you can call me Charles. All right, Chaz. Mm. So, uh, as you might have heard, there's different kinds of us, and some are called Toreador, and they err on the needlessly dramatic. Excuse you. So. No, it's fine. It's, I'm, I mean, he was right. Sorry, I didn't realize we were providing Cole's notes. What, can it be that you are unaware? of things you should be aware of. Apparently unawareness is catching in these nights. Again, I ask, what can we do for you, sir? Uh, well, I've come to see Nellie, but now that I'm speaking to you, well, perhaps we could retire somewhere more aesthetically pleasing. Technically, I think I'm between the two of them, so even though you're here, I look to you, basically, like... I just look at him and I pull a very large chunk of glass out of my chest <laughs> oh. and just drop it on the ground. <laughs> Where it shatters into a lot of smaller pieces. Where do you want to go? Hmm. Yeah. Well, if we're all going, there's certain places I uh, wouldn't recommend. But I'm sure I can find a restaurant or a club within striking distance. I'll have my driver call round. You're welcome to join us at my club. No. <laughs> then perhaps you suggest the place. Yes, Nelly, where would you have us meet? Let's go to the Highland. Hmm. The Highland, trifle gauche, but yes, very well. Mm. I'll have my driver transport us, and we'll meet you there. Very well. We'll see you there. Uh, Tell me, that place still doesn't have that awful stuff on the walls, does it? Probably. Yeah, most likely. I'll just wear my glasses. We'll see you all there. Mm. Sure. Why not? Later, Chuck. Chuck, how delightfully churlish. She must be... Yes, yes. Bruja. Bruja. <laughs> and so I depart. I assume my driver is nearby? You assume correctly. So, <clears throat> your driver is nearby as well. So the coterie is going to go together in your vehicle. Is anyone going with Chaz? Or is he and his driver going... I mean, I'm not opposed to the idea. I'm going to go with Chaz. <laughs> Are Nelly you, is going to go with Chaz. Are you I want to go oh, with Chaz. Okay. Only appropriate, after all. Family is family. <laughs> family is family. If you say it's fine, it's fine. I don't know. In LA, Basically you make fine. your own family, and you don't have to hang out with the ones you're related to by blood. It's a little blood. different in the, you know, the vampire daddy sort of situation. You remember we talked about that. Yeah. Did you say vampire daddy? <laughs> I, he called you daddy. Don't worry about oh. it. It's fine. You look great as a dad. Dad bods are in right now. I'm going to get in the car. <clears throat> Ow. I thought I couldn't be any more put off. But <clears throat> in any case, Nelly, we'd best depart. There's much to discuss on the way. But of course. Yes. Besides, we'll your surroundings you. are better. Please. To the Highlands. Let's go. After you, my dear, please. I do have you to follow. Oh, okay. Uh, Jasper, you are still wounded. <laughs> do you want to do anything about that before I would like you to reach the highland? Focus on re knitting. Re knitting? Yeah. So I got some holes that are ventilating. Is there a way to assist? Mm -hmm. Nah. Um, 
Not really, but um, he can mend. Oh, I'm good. Um, just you can, uh, you know, you can um, rouse the blood to um, heal the superficial wounds according to your blood potency. I will. I can do a certain number. Yes. So what do I roll for that? Well, first you make a rouse check. All right. Oh God. <laughs> Success. It's a okay. Technical, yeah. So, still maintaining control over the uh, ravenous beast. Mm-hmm. What? Um, let's see. How many superficial do you mend? I can heal two. Is it two superficial? It's okay. two superficial. So, mark them down. So, Annabelle, as you as you look, all those little tiny dozens of cuts and slices in his <laughs> disgusting undead flesh begin to close and mend and <clears throat> vanish. The sound that accompanies it is a little disturbing. I mean, not unlike the skittering of the rat's claws on cement, really. That's better. Now, you've chosen the Highland. What can you tell us about your destination? So, the Highland is on the third floor of the Hollywood and Highland um, Mall. Ah, so back to back to home <laughs> turf, as it were. Oh, yeah. We're going to play ball. We're going to go in our court. What's the club like? Ah, uh, it's regular Hollywood douchebaggery. Mm, okay, it's just so. Meh. Yeah. Okay. All of them come from the yeah. A lot of, lot of pop collars. It is collars. so not swanky. Ooh. It's swanky for the area. Like, mm-hmm. it looks nice. It has, but. like, but. Eh. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. If you if you had a choice, would you would you feed here? No. I see. Okay. So. We are alone in the limousine. Except for your driver. Yes. He can be trusted. Nelly, what will I do with you? The company you keep. A Nosferatu, really. He's saved my skin a couple of times. Mm, and lovely skin it is. Oh, thank you. Still, appearances must be maintained, and uh, the appearance of Nosferatus is disgusting to be charitable. Excuse you. Don't talk about my friend like that. Oh, your friend? Yes, my friend. Don't talk to him. Bosom about... chums, are we? Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Boon companions? How long have you known this Nosferatu? Long enough. Jasper, I believe, according to my sources. Yes, like the Twilight Vampire. <laughs> yes, yes. Or the mineral. Hmm. However, I did not bring you here to discuss him. Technically, you didn't bring me here at all. Mm. I came on my own volition. Ah, yes. So what is it that you want, Chaz? To talk. It's been a while since we talked. Yeah, last time we talked, you shoved me away. Hmm. And what did you do in response? I left. You left? Mm-hmm. Mm. You left something in your wake as well, didn't you, Nelly? I have no idea what you're talking about, Chaz. No idea. You just wiped the slate clean then. No memories, no regrets, eh? I suppose that must be nice. Pity that option isn't available to poor, dear Donna. She sent her regards. Did she? That's a good trick. Did she send them via Ouija board? (laughs) Why would you want to know? I already know, Nelly. I'm quite aware of what happened. So then why are you asking? You're rather flip, Nelly, considering the severity of your crime. Not only against me, your sire, but against your kind. I wonder if your new friends would be eager to associate with you if they knew the true extent of your actions, actions which I am fully aware of. Don't worry, it can be our little secret. Okay, fine. Ah, that's much better. Nelly, how did it come to this? You 
You were always willful, always <laughs> grasping, jealous, and yet diablery. It breaks my heart to see you like this. But as I said, it can be our little secret. Your friends, Mr. Temple, Tell me, do you think he might be of use? No. No? Mm -mm. Neither not. He seems properly refined. And his clan understands values such as tradition, honor, decorum. What is it you want with him? He could be extremely valuable, I think. His wealth alone is a valuable resource. And he himself is rather resourceful. As an agent, I can think of no one better to serve my interests, except perhaps for you. Why would you want me back? Hmm. Forgiveness is important, I think. Being able to let bygones be bygones. <laughs> you don't have that in you, Chaz. Don't I? Mm -mm. Hmm? Well, if I was as vindictive as you say, certainly I would have turned you over already. You would have been left to burn in the sun, perhaps. Or merely flayed. Fed enough blood to keep you from perishing entirely, then flayed again and again and again. Let's not go into maybes and might have beens. Let's talk about now. What's happening now? What happened over the last few nights? And what exactly you are up to? <sighs> Any information you'd like to volunteer? Keep in mind, I probably know already. We found someone new. Yes, so I got gathered. Uh, Annabelle? Yes. Hmm. What's your take on her? Loose cannon. Yes, yes, but perhaps not as reckless and uncontrollable as your typical bruja, hmm? Hmm. I yeah. think she might be quite valuable as well. Don't think you're going to get the response that you want from her, Chaz. Hmm. She's a wild card. Yes, as all of the Anarchs are. Yet... Stray sheep can be returned to the flock. Why would anybody want to join the ivory tower at this point? Why not? We represent stability and order in a world of chaos. Such things are valuable. You have no stake here in L.A. Don't we? <laughs> Perhaps you're unaware of recent developments, my dear. But we can leave such talk till later. I think I'd like a word with your friends, and I will expect your cooperation in the matter. Well, if you don't cast me away again. Cast you away? Mm, yes. Is that how you saw it? Oh, quite. <laughs> Perhaps my attention wandered, but who's to say it wouldn't have wandered back if you'd only been a little more patient, if you hadn't decided to act in the way you did. Still... What's done is done. Hmm. Yes, it is. So the Highland, eh? Yes, well... All right, I'd best prepare. There we are. How's that? So unbecoming of you. Yes, oh. yes. From the valley into Hollywood. Uh, you'll recall that Hollywood and Highland is in fact the center of Baron Abrams' domain. So Nellie suggested a location that was perhaps beneficial to you all, or incredibly dangerous, depending on how you look at it. Meanwhile, back in the SUV. Oh, what's her connection to Tim Hiddleston? 
Who? It took me like 20 minutes to come up with that. Yeah, I thought you pretty might have spent a lot of time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I like oh, puns. The, I, yeah, yeah, I understand. Chaz. Um, yeah, Chaz. Remember we talked about sires? Uh, what was that, what you call it? I mean, yeah. Vamp daddies. Yeah. That. Um, most of us don't get on too well with our sires because there are murderers. So the fact that he's here is probably not ideal. I know Nellie, she's tough, but I think we have to assume that this man is not our friend and he's not hers either. Well, is she okay? Should we have let her go with him? Well, do you know how to stop her when she wants to do something? Absolutely not. I pity the fool. Maybe you're learning faster than I thought, actually. There's hope for you yet. <sighs> Eve is pretty sure you're not tailed this time and the route to the highland doesn't present any special difficulties. Uh, by the time you get there, it's well after midnight. It's getting to be late. You've got dawn coming up in, you know, five hours or so, so you've still got some time before you have to worry about getting home. Before, this part of... Oh, go ahead and ask. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. This part of town is... Uh, heavily populated, even at this late hour, with tourists from every corner of the globe, uh, located uh, in the heart of Hollywood, next to the, uh, the Chinese theater and uh, among some of the better entertainment spots, uh, nightclubs, all of the Highland, mm, maybe not uh, what Nelly would have picked otherwise. So uh, you park where? Um, the usual place? The, the, or? the, the usual place. Okay. I mean, I have to assume the Baron already knows. Any special uh, instructions for Eve? This time, I actually want her to hang back and join us 10 to 15 minutes later and see who's watching us. Because somehow, he knew where we were. Which either he was a part of it from the beginning, or we're leaving clues that we're not aware that we're leaving. So... The limousine drops you off at the corner of Hollywood and Highland. Just before the door opens. Nellie, do keep in mind what I've told you. My silence has a price. And I will be calling in my marker. Soon, you'll know when. In the meantime, perhaps you could see to it that your friends are disposed to mm -hmm. well towards me and mm -hmm. listen to what I have to say. Once a harpy, always a harpy. Mm. <laughs> you were always such a fan of mythology, weren't you? Yeah. Well, let's go. I must say, you are looking beautiful tonight. Thank you. First time in a long time I've heard a compliment from you. It's deserved. I merely state facts. Into the Hollywood night, press of bodies, that familiar smell of all that blood just waiting to be taken under different circumstances. Each of you feels the beast stir in your chest, and you know that if it had its way, it would feast in the smorgasbord of humanity. But of course, you don't allow that. Instead, you make your way up several stories to the very top of the entertainment district. As we're making our way up, I do lean over to you and I say, a little sass is fine, but we have no idea how dangerous this man is. Please conduct yourself accordingly. And uh, then... Mm -hmm. I'm unseen, but I did get hungrier. Ooh. I'm at three. You are at three hunger. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to ignore the, the clawing of the beast inside you, trying to escape its bonds and tear free of its prison. Won't be long now. I make a point, any doors we open, I make a very, like, large and showy bow, like, I, or like oh. I'm waiting, holding the door for her, when really I'm holding the door for him. <laughs> <laughs> to ensure My lady. Oh. Yes. 
After yeah. you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The uh, the the You're overacting is uh, is infectious. The uh, the people around you laugh delightedly. They uh, imitate you. Several people take a look, a second look. They you know, the word begins to go around that, that Victor Temple is here. That's true. Uh, it is very yeah. difficult for you to escape notice in a place like this. No, I, I don't even try at all. Like if I if I get like the double look, mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, all right, you know, selfies. Yes. You know, like, hey, yeah. You're interrupted half a dozen times before yeah. you even get to the front door. Hey, come by the club, though. Ladies are free. Ladies are free. Oh, yeah. The pe people uh, want to take the car. They want to get their pictures taken Makes with sense. you. Yeah. We're not making fun of you. We're just being extra. Right. Why on earth would you think that was making fun of you? <laughs> mm. yeah. Talk about that later. Are there any private rooms available or somewhere a bit more secluded? The champagne room of the Highland. <laughs> <laughs> that should do. <laughs> it's everything you could ever imagine that it would be. Is, it, is the table shaped like a champagne bottle? <laughs> the table has to be shaped like a champagne bottle. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm ordering a table <laughs> shaped like a champagne bottle. It might pop. take them some time to install that. So, inside the nightclub, uh, it's difficult to hear and hear. The, uh, the dance music is loud. The people are omnipresent. And the press of bodies is delicious for those whose hunger is growing. To the back of the club, to a private room. Considering who you are and the influence that Nelly can command, this is not a problem. Nice tip for everybody. The room and table is prepared right away. Bottle service, of course. Um, I think none of us are in the mood. You're going to conspicuously order no drinks? For now. It's just business. Mm hmm The maitre d' seems a little bit nonplussed, but accepts the hefty bribe that you press into his hand? I basically tip him what the bottle would have cost. I'm like, see that we're not disturbed, though. Absolutely, sir. Privacy, you shall have. Mm -hmm. Well uh, done, Mr. Temple. Discretion, are, uh, of course, is important. You're left in the uh, garishly decorated best room of the club. <laughs> you can still hear the music, but it's a, a dull, throbbing beat outside, and you can't actually hear each other and are able to talk. Nelly, I wouldn't have made you for a Highland girl. I, I would pop it, but I'm genetically incapable. Hush of, you. Uh, don't. Hush yeah. you. Hush <laughs> I've returned my collar to its resting position. That was just for walking. Duly noted, the uh, sartorial gods have been appeased. So, and I actually don't look at you, I look at her. So, Chaz has come for a visit. I wanted to talk to all of you. Yes, not just my child, but her friends. Consider this a slumber party, if you will. I'm still invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult to get through that press of bodies through the club without bumping into anybody or, or being seen, are you are you prepared to make that roll? I will make that roll. Okay, um, you will need five. All right. It's Dance my way. I mosh my club. way in front of him. Yeah, the wing too. The Very wing, the with lots there. of yeah. elbows. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, dexterity plus stealth. Stealth. All right. Got the three hunger dice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this could go really badly. Three successes. Oh, okay. That's not enough. You could spend willpower to reroll up to three dice, or you could uh, succeed at a cost. I will spend a willpower mm. point. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think tonight's going to cost us plenty, so, you know. <laughs> three. Uh, that would be four successes. Four successes. Still one shot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, unfortunately, uh, you make it about halfway across the dance floor when uh, several people bump into you because of their awkward and uh, almost violent dancing. And okay. the, uh, the, unfortunately, <laughs> the sudden blow uh, renders you visible. And they <laughs> remind you, watch where you're going, man. It's a dance floor, you know? Sorry. It's not a, not a thoroughfare. And I continue, I just... Fine. Nice hoodie. 
when I hear you him, ignore him, right? Yeah. Okay. You're all good. Yeah. So you are able to join your uh, your colleagues in the uh, in the private room. Right. Yeah. Ah, I see your invisible friend has showed up. One of them. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I see. Mm, no, you probably don't, but okay. <laughs> well said, Mr. Temple, well said indeed. You are a man of wit and intelligence, I see. I appreciate flattery, I do, as a man of your clearly exquisite taste, both in fashion and automobiles and child there would imply, but time is also money, friend, so I believe there was some sort of business you wished to discuss. Hmm. Perhaps I should cut to the chase. I bring greetings. Greetings from the ivory tower. To all of you. Yes, even you. I wonder, how is it that you can survive like this, cast adrift in a sea of anarchy? Wouldn't it be better to return to the embrace of those who know how things should be done? You, of all people, Mr. Temple, must understand the importance of respect, of order. And loyalty. And loyalty. Well said, again. Loyalty to your friends, yes? I'm loyal to everyone who's loyal to me. Hmm. Perhaps you will give me the opportunity to prove my loyalty. I do think that you could be valuable and that you would find value in said partnership yourself. Again, I'm looking at Nellie. That's all right, Nellie. You should speak up. Voice your opinion. It would be a valuable partnership. You see. So, let me see if I understand correctly. You're asking us why we wouldn't want someone telling us what to do and breathing down our neck for everything we did. Well, there would be no breathing involved, I assure you. But some oversight certainly is a small price to pay. Right. There's always free cheese in a mousetrap. This is true. He's full of all these platitudes. Indeed. And you, my dear, tell me about yourself. You seem rather adrift. Everyone's having to coach you at any given moment. Why do you feel the need to continue to run wild when there are those who could teach you the proper ways? I have people to teach me, tell me what I need to know. Is their information different than yours? Is yours better? Hmm. I'm curious as to how you see the situation. You're clearly looking at this with new eyes. How do you see the Camarilla? I'm not sure who that is. Ah, you, had, you really should have sat her down with uh, some, some sort of PowerPoint presentation or something, just to really you cover the basics. You have those? We sort of just made sure we told her everything that matters. Just because we're dead doesn't mean we don't know how to use computers. Yes, we have PowerPoint. Oh. But we haven't had time to make one. Yeah. It's been a bit of a night, a couple of nights, so. so. Uh, let me give you a little bit of a history lesson, if you don't, if you don't mind. I'll, I'll enlighten her. Of course, of course, um, please. There Jasper, was a time. Before you do, four dice, include your hunger, please. <laughs> All the hunger. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, 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 we'll see you later. <laughs> two beasts, two failures, and one success. So you've got a success on a, on a regular die? No, I have a failure on a regular die, and one success on a blood die, and two beasts, two failures. Two beasts, two failures. Okay. Hold that thought. Oh, I will. For the moment. Please continue. 
So our kind goes back far, possibly to the beginning of okay, mankind. You can, you can Who no, 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 this okay. is important. I want to make sure that our associate knows you've been properly instructed. And there was a time that we did whatever we want, and we were beautiful and powerful, and we roamed the nights, and we ruled mankind. And then a certain group of us, some of the older ones, decided they should be in charge forever. And so they put a little club together where they would rule everything and everyone had to do what they said. And over time, some of the younger ones kind of got tired of being pushed around because when you're two, three, four, five hundred years old, you don't want mom and dad telling you what to do. And those of us left and did our own thing. And while the organization that you represent, the Zionary Tower, this Camarilla, has done really great things for our kind, the masquerade was their idea and it has kept us all safe and unharmed up until now. Um, the reality is a gilded leash is still a leash. So I haven't quite heard what's in it for us. I am going to point out that you will hear both Camarilla and Camarilla. No one's bothered to figure out which one it actually is. True. We don't mean the place of- a long time to figure this no. out. Yeah, right. A lot of different languages. Yeah, Dead accents. It's, it's cool. strange. Different yeah. coasts. Well summarized. Well summarized. I would, of course, point out that patience is a virtue. And, of course, <laughs> speaking of platitudes, good things do come to those who are willing to wait. Instant gratification can feel good, but it does have its consequences. One of which is chaos. So let me ask you something. In the hopes of a newfound spirit of cooperation, how do you know about Griffith Park and how did you find us tonight? Hmm. I do know quite a few things about your recent activities. Though we have recently found a stake in this city. We do keep abreast of current events. And the incidents at the observatory, well, that certainly raised a few eyebrows. This college that you're currently claiming as your domain, it's an interesting setup. But I wonder who exactly is behind the attack upon you? Have you not wondered yourself? Uh, we're open to theories that you might possess. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, and I'd be willing to share that information if I thought you might be cooperative, open to discussion, at least. Everything's negotiable. And what of you, my dear? Tell me, how much do you know about your clan? Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Well, you should know that in large measure, those of your kind cannot be relied upon to look after their own interests, let alone the interests of a larger group. But I s suspect that you are smarter than that. You don't seem to be filled with Restless anger at the world, undirected, roiling, turmoil. That's not your thing, is it? You'd much prefer a more settled life. Hmm? With all due respect, um... Wait, no. Nellie, do you trust this man? Should we be speaking to him? Because I know that if I came face to face with the person who murdered me and took my life from me, I wouldn't be sharing a limousine with him. Is that what happened to you? I am so very sorry. Nellie and I, well, our relationship is quite different. It was not a murder, it was a true embrace. Is that true, Nellie? Yes, yes. Yes, it was. Okay. Well, then, with all due respect, no. 
unfettered, unfocused anger is not productive. In my life, I tried my best to fight for what was right. And part of that was taking down systems that weren't correct, that weren't right. Those golden leashes that are slowly strangling us. Okay. And the leash analogy I really think is quite unfair. Mm, but not inept. Let me ask you a question. If Vannevar Thomas couldn't hold San Francisco, what makes him think he can hold Los Angeles? And why would we join an army that's in retreat? Perhaps you should ask him yourself. On his behalf, I would like to extend an open invitation. I would speak with him, sure. I'm sure he would be delighted to have a conversation yes. with you. Yes, absolutely I would speak with him, yes. Good, yes, we are making progress. You yes. see? You see, friends. Uh, now, are, are you all right? Jasper, you are not... No, I'm all not. Right. Jasper. At all right. You are hungry. You are starving. You are ravenous. And you know that any moment you are going to feed. The beast is in your throat, climbing its way up, up up further. There's blood here. There's blood right outside that door. There's a whole dance floor of people who mocked your hoodie. And you want them, and you want them right now. I don't wish to be an alarmist, Mr. Temple, but perhaps you should see to your friend. I think he might need Beast some assistance. will not be denied. Now, there is the matter of willpower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to, um, control yourself for a turn, yeah. take a point of superficial willpower damage. Do you, based, based on our relationship and observation, can we see he's not doing so well? He's doing extraordinarily poorly at this time. Uh, Annabelle, would you take... Jasper out the back way. Yeah. Please. Okay. I, I, excuse me. I will burn a superficial to control it for now, but I will go with her. Mm hmm. All right. If he can get out unseen, let him. Oh, I'm doing great. Okay. Let's go. Yes. I try to find a back <clears throat> entrance. That's delightful to make you happy. I hope you have a fucking pleasant evening. <laughs> I usually do. <clears throat> Annabelle. You're taking Jasper out. Mm -hmm. Back door, emergency exit, fire, yeah. fire uh, exit, maybe. Yeah, if there's an unalarmed back exit, usually there are enough at mm -hmm. a club. Normally, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna pass through maybe the kitchen, storage area. Um, the staff pays no attention to you. They're used to people sneaking out the back for a variety of reasons. <laughs> Jasper, they are full of the thing that you want, and. They couldn't stop you if you wanted to take it. <clears throat> Keep going? Yeah. Come on. You gotta get out of here. Take a point of superficial willpower damage to maintain control against the frenzy. Out the back door, down the stairs, mm -hmm. into the night air. What are you going to do? Jasper. Jasper, what do you need? How can I help? The only way you could help would end very badly for you. Please, go. No, no. Right. No. Now, is no. there anyone else in this? I assume we got into an alleyway or something like that. You are in an alleyway between the uh, building and the neighboring parking garage structure. Mm -hmm. so at the moment, you're in the clear. Okay. No, that won't last. No. Is there a manhole cover near the entrance to the alley where it joins the street mm -hmm. yes okay I'm going to um, tug free from her 
and run and bolt and rip up the grate and jump down into the sewer. Cram yourself into yep. the manhole and yep. try to disappear into the into the subterranean structures. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, Annabelle. I'm going after him. You're gonna follow him. Okay. Rip off the manhole cover, fling it aside. It crashes with a loud metallic clang against the concrete of the parking garage. Manholes aren't that big, but you know your way. Mm -hmm. And you cram your lanky frame down into the dark tunnel. Electrical conduits, water pipes, things that don't bear mentioning. Squeezing down through the passageways, out of sight, away from the harm that you know you are going to do. Mm -hmm. And Annabelle, you are going to follow him. Okay. Make a dex plus athletic check. You are. You know, is this very... does this involve balance at all? Or? Mm, uh, actually, it would, so that you don't cast. catch yourself on any of the conduits or pipes on the way down, so that you could uh, cast so, grace could apply. So I activate cat's grace. So go ahead and excuse me. Roll dexterity plus athletics. Okay, so it's an automatic success in dex or athletics. Basically. Oh, that is an auto success, isn't it? It's Cat's Grace. Yeah. So you are good to go. Um, so I leap squeezing in. Squeezing yourself down into the narrow space. It's dark. It smells bad. Um, you can hear Jasper clambering down the tunnel hole ahead of you. Uh, and you follow the sound. Yeah. The l faint light from the street lights is quickly lost above. And it's really dark down here. But you can hear him growling and moving up ahead. Meanwhile, back at the club. That was certainly unusual. It's, it's been a stressful night. Yeah. So, um... Stress, stressful two days. Stressful on life. Uh, Mr. Thomas, when might we have an audience with him? I'm sure I can set something up within the next few days. Nice, rather, of course. Favor of speech. Felt it was implied. Uh, let me be quite clear. I do not speak for the Baron. I do not speak for the Anarchs. I don't speak for anyone other than myself. You need not speak for anyone but you, for you are the one I am speaking to. <laughs> and you are the one we are interested in engaging in a pleasant conversation. A friendly conversation that may lead to future dealings and partnerships. Well, again, I promise nothing, but I have not gotten to where I am in life without at least being willing to open to discuss business. That is all I ask. Then, I'm so very glad to meet someone reasonable. And Nelly, thank you so very much. Your cooperation has been greatly appreciated and will be noted. Glad to hear that. Uh, again, if you would like to prove yourself a friend, if you would like to make some gesture that this isn't the overt trap that it very much seems like it is, uh, <laughs> we can trust him. We can't trust anyone, but yes, I will attend the meeting. However, if you would like to earn my trust, sir. Any insight into recent events, hmm. any information you can send our way that perhaps we don't possess, would go a very long way towards establishing confidence in our newfound channels of communication. Well, I can assure you that the regrettable events at the observatory will not make their way into the press. We have seen to that. No need to thank me. Of course, it's what we do. Perhaps we could probe a little deeper. We're just as eager as you are to get to the bottom of this. If we pool our resources, I'm sure we can uncover who's behind this and see that they are appropriately chastised. I'm sure we can compare notes later. I heard temples in there. Let me pass. Sorry, sir, you cannot come in. This is a private room. Yeah, but temples in there, and I want to see him. Is it a voice I recognize? Not through the doorway. It's a little muffled. You can tell that it's a man's voice. Uh, I go and I open the door. And rise from the table and uh, yes, go ahead and open the a door. A moment, if you would. Of course. 
Standing yeah. outside, mm. you uh, see the security guard that was uh, detailed, uh, of course, they made her D in your bribe uh, to stand outside the door, uh, interposing himself between the private room and the uh, two gentlemen who are standing outside. You don't recognize them. Um, they are tall, they are well built, um, they are uh, wearing um, sport coats that are bulging in some suspicious places, like they might be carrying something familiar to you from previous days. I hey, come, Temple! I come out and I close the door so no one can see who was in there. Yeah. Um, and I go towards them, so basically the security guard is between me mm -hmm. and them. Like, I do not wave them in. Like, you're on the sure. other side of the velvet rope. And I'm all like, uh, that is Mr. Temple, can I help you? Yeah. Bobby sends his regards. And they go for their guns. Does that mean anything to me? Not really. Okay. There are a lot of Bobbies in your past. <laughs> <laughs> this could be any one of them. Right. Bobby uh, with an eye. This is true. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby with an eye. Uh, before they go, well, as they reach for their guns, I activate awe. Activate awe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I'm all like, excuse me, there's a lot of witnesses in here. They don't seem to care that there are a lot of witnesses in here, but manipulation plus presence. Yes, please. Oh, well, I mean, of I'm course, gonna, yes. I'm, I'm going to take <laughs> half. <laughs> I'm like, indeed. Of course. I'm going to take half, yeah. and uh, we'll get two. I oh. get no successes, so I'm gonna go ahead and spend one of those willpower. Yeah, go ahead and take a point of superficial willpower damage and reroll up to three regular dice. Uh, two successes. Two successes. Yeah. Okay, so um, you have the supernatural uh, advantage here. Uh, you've got all activated, so mm -hmm. basically you can add your presence to your social skills involving persuasion. But, I mean, that, that, was, that was what I rolled. That mm -hmm. was the, the two successes. That was the two? What me. do you want him to persuade him to do? Stop for a second. Like, you're not going to just start shooting in public. Are you insane? Like, calm down. Let's talk about this. They don't seem to care. Um, they don't seem to be acting normally. Um, try wits and awareness. Okay. And... This time I'm going to roll instead of taking half. Well, four. Four successes. Four successes. One well, of them was a skull and a blood die. I don't think that matters, so four. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, that's a, that's, that's a failure. Sorry, three, three, three. Three successes. Yeah, the skull would be a fail. Yes, but sorry. you have other successes, so it's yes. not a bestial failure. Um, you have seen this, of course, before because you have done it to mortals before. They are not acting of their own free will. Uh, new plan, run. Because I run. can't have mortals see me getting shot and living through it. Back into the room? I to escape the wreck. I do not go back into the room. Or do you want to come through the, uh, to come, to come around the security guard or through them maybe? Back. I'm back. Uh, towards the kitchens, away from the crowd. Okay. Like so. essentially, even though I didn't see the way they went, I'm essentially following the same path they went right. out the so, back. Got it. Right. So. Nelly and Chaz left alone again, but you can hear the commotion from the outside. Uh, before uh, the commotion. The shouting, we, but. I'm uh, just uh, saying to Nelly, very, very well done, my girl. You see how easy things are when cooperation is involved? I think things are going to. What's that? Mm. Did you hear that? Yes. Use my heightened senses. Clear as a bell, you can um, you can hear what is going on outside the doorway. You hear the whole altercation, the threat of violence, the sound of um, weapons being cha uh, rounds being chambered in weapons. There's going to be violence very quickly outside. Your friend, Mr. Temple, I think, is encountering some difficulties. Oh. Yes. Hmm. Yes, and they don't seem to be open to persuasion. Oh, We'd best get out of here, Yes, yes, um, with a quickness. Um, hmm. Can we, like, 
and put my ear up against the door and kind of like hear what's going <laughs> you're on. You're actually going to leave, you're going to leave the table and actually listen at the door. Kinda, yeah. Okay. So um, by the time you make it to the doorway, the scuffle has moved on in pursuit of Victor, who will return to in a moment. Great. So it's kind of like coast set. might be clear. Like crack open the door. Yeah. Uh, you can hear people running down the hallway. Uh, but you don't see anybody in the immediate vicinity. The music, of course, grows louder the minute you open the door because the dance floor is, is just a few doors away. I best summon my bodyguard, who I assume is uh, nearby. Uh, left at the car, right? Uh, downstairs at the mm -hmm. car. All right. Uh, uh, would I have a cell phone? Well, I think Chaz is still uh, contemporary enough to uh, use a... Maybe a phone that has been rendered more or less safe. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a brick. <laughs> well, let's say, let's say it's a smartphone. <laughs> Camarillo fat frowns on such technology, except maybe in uh, safe modes or in um, emergencies. But yes. this might constitute such an emergency. Uh, I will uh, text the prearranged message of mm -hmm. trouble. Uh, to let my driver and bodyguard know that uh, I need his assistance. And do you uh, proceed to the exit, or are you going to wait here? Nelly, perhaps we'd best just hang back and let things resolve themselves. Mm. You can hang back. Come now, my dear. This is hardly our sort of thing, hmm? I need to help Victor. Very well. One does not wish to waste an asset that one has invested time in, I understand. Exactly. I so join me. All right. Chauncey will be joining us as well. How delightful. Let's check in on the tunnel situation. Jasper. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot to eat down here. No. Where are you headed? Uh... I'm headed to, I mean, it's a long way home. It really is. You're not sure that you're going to make it. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you'll run out of willpower. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm with my last possible moments of consciousness. I'm attempting to lose her. See, you don't want to be shook. Mm -mm. You want to stay on the trail. So it's a chase yeah. Yeah. through difficult spaces, tunnels, antechambers, strange spaces that Annabelle never even knew existed under the streets of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And you realize that if he does manage to lose you, <laughs> you might wander down here for nights. So I, find your way out. as I go, um, I flip on my stupid flip phone. I believe Eve took a, the oh, burner dead. phone. That's the second phone that's uh, <laughs> been taken from you this evening. Fad! Mm -hmm. So you are once again without the means to communicate with the world. It's a loud okay. situation. I'm following him. Okay. And I shout out. I'd like to activate awe. Mm, down here in the dark? Yeah. Okay. Um, are you, um, let's see. What's your plan? Walk, walk, walk me through the plan. So I shout out to him, Jasper, stop. You're not yourself. I can help you. Please, just, just stop and let me help you. Jasper, mm -hmm. are you are you inclined to blow any more willpower and control yourself? I have you no more superficial willpower nothing to blow. Left, nothing left to go. You could begin taking aggravated willpower damage. No. You know what? Now, how does one heal an aggravated willpower damage? <laughs> aggravated willpower damage is uh, comes back a lot with a lot more difficulty than superficial, yes. right? So superficial damage uh, comes back, of course, equal to your resolve or composure 
um, at the beginning of the following night. Mm -hmm. But um, it's not quite so easy yeah. to repair the damage done. No, it's not. What you are doing, right? So um, <sighs> you can recover one or more points of aggregated willpower when you um, benefit a touchdown mm -hmm. or when you uphold conviction All right. that's seriously important to you. Or when you have worked toward your ambition significantly, All right. you can regain it, uh, recover a point of aggregated willpower. All right. A lot I, harder. I will. Um, I'll burn one. <clears throat> yeah. That hurt. Yep. And you feel that mm -hmm. deep, deep, deep inside. I'm just booking it through the tunnels, trying to lose her so she just can't find me. Mm -hmm. And also I can't find her. All right, opposed rolls. Jasper, you know your way. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have a significant advantage here. Annabelle, you're going to be at an extreme disadvantage because of the darkness and the unfamiliar territory. So let's do it this way. You don't have any superpowers, that, supernatural abilities that let you see in the dark or sense direction. Yeah. All right, so you're relying on your raw skills and abilities. Intelligence and awareness, Annabelle, is what you've got to go on. Trying your best to note landmarks, um, to maybe, um, maybe even mark territory with your hands or your keys as you go. Maybe not find, not lose your way in the dark. Okay. Roll twice and count your successes or failures. Um, is it? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> oh shoot. You said roll twice. What what was the first result? Uh, bestial failure. Bestial failure. Did you um? No successes at all, no right? Successes. Zero successes. Okay. I can burn a willpower. You can. To, if um, that will. You can spend a willpower to reroll up to three regular dice. Yeah. But not hunger dice. I'll do that. How many um? How many dice are you rolling total? Just one. No, I mean in, three. In total. Three. Okay, hunger. And you got no no other successes no other on successes. the hunger dice. So I can, I'm gonna re-roll. Even with a re-roll, even if you get a success, it won't be enough. So this will obviate the second roll. So down here, lost in the dark, the one vampire you thought was reasonable, who you know might even been a friend to you, has deliberately abandoned you down here in the dark. It makes you afraid, even paranoid. You have to get out of here. You feel the beast growing more and more fearful and paranoid. Anything could be down here in the dark with you. Anything at all. Other vampires or, or worse. You've seen things already that you can't explain far far more strange than vampires. This is not a safe place for you, Annabelle. If you don't get out of here, something could happen to, to Eleanor or to Mark. You've got to leave now. Okay. Um, it's, it's too scary and too dangerous down here. Okay. okay. You start to flee in um, you know, a random direction. Go ahead and roll two dice, one hunger and one regular, and tell me what the two symbols are. Uh, nothing, neither. Nothing, both, both nothing failures? Neither. Okay, so you start to, to stumble through the dark looking for any way out of the tunnels. Jasper, you lost her. Okay. Are you headed home? I'm headed home. Okay. Meanwhile, 
Victor, not having a great night either. But uh, you were headed out. Yes. Pursued by these two uh, thugs. Yes. Okay. And Nelly determined to help. With Chaz in tow, is that right? But yeah. waiting Reluctant for the arrival to. of your bodyguard. Yes. Yes. Right. Chauncey, I would think, is perhaps a ghoul? Um, a ghoul, and he's built in the way that um, they build Italian stof- sofas. Huge, <laughs> solid, and overstuffed with muscles. Yes. A really powerful figure. And on. The I suit think. barely buttons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, as we may, uh, Chauncey, there seems to be a bit of trouble. Mm. If we could uh, take care of it with a minimum of fuss. Mm. He leads the way. Or the path that you indicated. Now, it's been quite some time. Mm-hmm. It's been at least five or six minutes waiting for him. So you've got a considerable head start on your way out. Mm-hmm. And as I understand it, your goal is to exit as quickly as possible with a minimum of fuss? Yes. Okay. Minimum witnesses. Getting out of here. Yes. Through the service stairs. Yes. Out the emergency exit. So in the kitchens if you have to. Yes. This, the moment I hit the night air... The moment I see nobody else is around, mm-hmm. soaring leaps. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you're not even going to turn and confront these guys? Nah. Mm-mm. Nah. Okay. I need to get a maximum distance to people, especially in this particular area. I don't mm-hmm. need to cause any fuss for the Baron. And you are you are going to stop and verify that you're yes. not, being, not I'm, being watched? I'm not particularly afraid of getting shot. I just need to not get... But what if witnesses. you're seen? Huh? That's, I, I don't want that. That's what I'm like. Okay. All right, uh, make um, wits and awareness. Okay. Take a quick quick survey of the area. Two successes. Two successes? Yeah. Uh, you certainly don't spot anybody as you come out the uh, the emergency exit. You, th- you so think you're safe. To, so the club was on the third floor. Mm-hmm. Am I also up on the third floor? Or if I kind of by the time I come out, am I lower down? Uh, you are on the third floor, but you're on the roof. But you're on the uh, roof level. I am on the roof. The up. parking structure is within soaring leap distance. Yeah. You want to do it? Yep. You want to leap over the rooftop? Yep. Okay. <laughs> to cr- true creature of the night fashion. Yep. Tensing your leg muscles. Yep. Hurling yourself out in, into the night. Yeah. Landing on the roof of the parking structure. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Flipping off the two thugs who burst out of the door yeah. some yards behind you. Yep. Okay. And then uh, immediately head towards the vehicle. Like, don't stop. <laughs> Despite whatever mental uh, instructions uh, they had, uh, apparently it didn't include firing randomly into the dark, perhaps. So um, they cease. Uh, and they turn around, and that is when they run into Chauncey. And um, it is a brief and unpleasant, but decidedly one sided battle. Uh, <laughs> Well done, Chauncey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why I keep you on the payroll. Oh, wait, I don't think I actually pay you, but still. Straightens his suit. How much of commotion is going on here? So you're up on the roof um, where there, is n- there are no people here on the top. Um, there are, of course, people in the club behind you. There are people on the streets down below. There are cars moving in and out of the parking structure nearby, but people are driving, and they're not really focused on what's going on in the dark across the, uh, across the roof of the mm-hmm. structure. It's possible that you're being observed or seen. Did I make it out enough? I'm, I'm kind of hoping for a lot of crowd coverage before we actually make it to the roof. Mm. In the hotel? But in, the, in the club, yeah. Like in, We're moving. I see. So you want to run into a group of people. Oh, yes. You're not going to the roof, are you? Nope. <laughs> I see. Bye. So vanishing into the crowd of the nightclub. Thanks, Chauncey. I see. So Totally voguing my way out of this. Getting out of here. Oh, yes. Where are you headed? I'm headed back down the street. I have a feeling that my whole crew just split. So I'm going to try to check up on the one person that I possibly can because I um, could possibly track said person. Mm-hmm. Understandable. All right. Chauncey will be left to make arrangements to make sure none of this makes the papers and that uh, he knows what to do. He's handled this situation a few he times. He does indeed know what to do. Would heightened senses allow me to track Nene? Hmm. Well, you lost her back in the uh, back in the nightclub somewhere between the, uh, the door to the um, room and out. Okay. Let's do this. Sense of smell. Hmm. She has, wears distinctive perfume. It's quite lovely. Mm-hmm. It smells like roses. 
You have known her to wear that uh, perfume for quite some time. I also am aware where their vehicle was, yes? You know where Victor... Oh, no, no, she came with me. She, she came, came with you. That's right. So she came in your, uh, in your sports car. Mm -hmm. Make a uh, Wits Plus Resolve roll. Which I will leave to you. I will make that for you. Hold on, what do you want here? Oh, that's right. He's got it. Oh, am I? Yes, I did. You will? Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. So, I'm going to make a perception check for you. Along with your wits. It's not easy to pick out her distinctive rose scent, but for someone who has been familiar with it for some time, as you have, and who has almost a century of experience attuning your senses to the night around you, it can be done. I do believe I also move quite a bit faster than she does. Yes. Uh, depends on, on circumstances, but uh, you think you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, you're going to try to intercept her before she yes. gets out of the building, yes. or track no, her down? Not, not running all out, obviously. I wouldn't want to get sweaty and... No, that would never be undignified do. for starters. Indeed. <laughs> but yes, I will move with purpose uh, and try to intercept her. Victor, once you are safely across the distance and onto the roof of the parking garage, what's your next move? Uh, I, I do, uh, I, I head to the car. I actually call Eve and tell her to start the car. I'm on the way. Like I might have a tail. Mm -hmm. uh, she says that she will meet you at the uh, entrance to the parking garage, street uh, level. I head straight there. Um, does anything else happen before I get in the car? You're going to make it down the stairways yeah. in the parking garage. Yeah. Eve will be waiting for you. As soon as I get into the car, I, I remember we took your phone, but I text the two of you that I'm all like, somebody's on my tail and I'm leading them off. And we go. I'm so like, you're going to pause to text two different numbers? No, to while we're in the, I mean, group text. You know, we've done it before. But I mean, mean I, I get in the car and we're leaving <laughs> and I'm like, and also, I'm leaving. You know, I'm like, whoever is, I'm trying to lead off whoever's on me. Mm -hmm. But you are going. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as soon as you're in into the uh, into the vehicle, Eve floors it and yep. pulls out into Hollywood Boulevard traffic. Yes, because okay. I, I think they're they're safer if they're they're safer if they're not with me right now. So Annabelle <laughs> is having a less fortunate evening. Paranoia has built up to the point where you are almost ready to claw your way through the earth to get out of here. You don't know how long that you wander. You're, it could be hours, it could be nights. You lose track of time, but eventually you do calm down. You do master yourself and put the beast back where it belongs. And you manage to find a service ladder that will lead you to the surface, the streets above. It's hard to uh, lift the manhole cover until you remember that you are unusually strong. <coughs> Pushing it aside, you haul yourself out into the city. You're not even sure where you are. It's not a neighborhood that is familiar to you. You have come some distance, you are dirty, you are disheveled, um, some of your clothing is torn, perhaps your nails are bloodied where you tried to dig your way through a wall, and you have no idea where any of your coterie is. It's going to be a while before you make it home tonight. And I don't even have anybody there waiting for me. <sighs> Chaz. Nellie is on the opposite side of the dance floor, on the main floor. And you can see her across the crowded room making her way through the crowd. What was that? It's ambiance. I see. 
Yeah. Nelly, you stop to talk to anybody? Oh, no. Call no. anybody? No, do anything? No. I'm voguing. Voguing your way out? Out of here. <laughs> Goodbye, world. As stylishly as possible. Once you make it to the main doors and out into the, to the uh, entrance, remembering that you're still three stories up, you get the text from Victor saying, someone's on my tail, I am out of here. I texted, same, except for I can't get out of here. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> if she replies that, I, t- I text back Baron, question mark. You are at Hollywood and Highland. I'm not leading Chaz there. Sorry. Chaz, you catch up to Nelly as she is texting outside the uh, entrance to the club. Ah, my dear, I'm so sorry that I, I lost you in the crowd. Very rude of me. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry you didn't keep up with me. Yes. I thought we were going to have a voguing competition. In any case, it was lovely to see you again. Likewise. I have missed you, Nelly. Dearly. Really? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think so. Yeah. Why would you miss? <sighs> How could I not miss you, your beauty? You replaced me with Donna. <laughs> Again, such passing fancies. There's every chance I would have returned to you. Passing fancies? Is that all I am? No, no, not at all. She was the passing fancy, and now she has passed. I wonder whose fault that is. In any case, please do remember everything we've discussed tonight. Hmm? Of course. I'll let you be on your way. Return to your friends. The Nosferatu did not seem to be doing very well at all. You should probably check in on him. Yeah, yeah. And I hope Mr. Temple appreciates what I did for him. I'm sure he will. Any assistance I can render, of course, I gladly give. Keep that in mind. My darling child. Hmm. I'll bid you good night, then. Hmm? Good night? Unless you need to ride home. I can figure it out. Of course. Take care. You too, darling. So Is there a spider play. around anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> you should just keep one, like, like, right. like in a little container. I think it might yeah, be a little difficult fashionable. to find a, a spider easily on the, uh, on the top floor. Of, of, There's of, always of three H within six feet H. of you, they say. It might take some hunting, and by the time you find one, you could have summoned a, a car from any number of, of services or means True at your disposal. Speaking of cars, Victor, as you are, are departing with Eve at the wheel, she informs you that she did as you asked and ran the information on the uh, cell phone that you requested. Mm-hmm. The calls were made to um, her girlfriend, mm-hmm. as she told you, mm-hmm. and to your son, Mark. Hopefully she put him off for the night. I guess we'll find out soon enough. As you know, sir, those records aren't available to us. Not without pulling in more favors than I can muster. That isn't necessary. Home, sir? Uh, let's take the long way. Um, I, I text you again, and I, this time I just text Annabelle, question mark. No answer, because I'm talking to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, a circle. Let's make sure nobody's on our trail again. And one of them might need a pickup. Very well. Jasper, it is a long, long slog (laughs) home. Somewhere halfway, three quarters, you're not sure, is when you finally master yourself. Mm -hmm. Barely. But you know that this is going to keep happening. When you reach your destination, what do you do? (sighs) 
I go inside and I feed. Annabelle, how will you get home tonight? Do I know where I am? Do you know how far away from Eventually the you figure out you're somewhere in Burbank. Um, I don't have their numbers anymore. I don't have, I know that I can't call anybody else and I'm feeling very, very alone. So... I'm just, I'm just going to go to the campus just to walk around a little bit. Just walk through campus a little bit, maybe. You figure if you start now, you can just about make it before sunrise. Walking through the night, thinking about what's happened and what lies ahead for you. Chaz... How do you feel about the events of the evening? Uh, well, it's certainly unpleasant, and another mystery. These two thugs who sent them, they were clearly not operating under their own influence, from what I heard. Yes, best to look into this. However, I do think that Mr. Temple seems open to negotiation. And the invitation to the prince, from the prince, has been extended. Uh, Annabelle, well, I didn't get much chance to speak to her, but I think with time. And of course, there's Nellie. She proved most pliable. I think the leverage I have over her is going to come in very handy indeed. And the truth is... I have missed her. Nellie, have you missed Chaz? Yes. Very much so. It's a long ride home. Yep. With a lot to think about. Victor? I text again, Annabelle, with three question marks. <laughs> no answer. No answer. Every, everybody is finding their own way home tonight with a lot on their mind and a lot on their souls and consciences. So, this seems an appropriate place to conclude our story for the night. Thank you all very much for joining us this evening for Vampire the Masquerade, Los Angeles by Night, Chapter 2, Instruments of Darkness. Please come back and visit us again next week when chapter three continues and night falls again. Thank you very much.